And good evening, my lovely Lost Tales, and welcome back to the Blue Rose Respite for my Friday Night Spice stream. I hope you're all doing well this evening, and happy International Women's Day, one of the best damn days of the year. <laughs> And it's been such a delight seeing everyone so excited for this evening. And I see there is a very flattering poll uh, going at the moment. How much do we love Stephanie chat? I'm very curious to see your answers. I have a feeling I might have a hint on what direction that might go in. Um, but we shall see. We shall see. Vince, how's it going, Vincey Vince? This is Debbie Steph and it's a Vincey Vince. I hope you're doing well, Vince. <laughs> Oh, I'm doing especially gorgeous today. My hair is feeling especially gorgeous today. Um, had a big day at the gym. I'm really like ahead of myself in terms of like making videos for YouTube and I've been planning some stuff, planning more chapters for um, uh, one of my ASMR tales, my ongoing stories. And yeah, just been a good balance of just chilling, playing some League um, and also like getting stuff done at the same time. And also, Oh, your hair is perfect. Why, thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> Honestly, it feels so much better once I got it um, dyed and uh, trimmed a little bit. Because I was starting to feel like just a little bit icky um, when, you know, you don't have, you let your hair grow out a little bit too long and it gets like, it, it feels gross to me after I've gone a couple of months without getting it done. I don't get it done super regularly, but I like taking care of my appearance and my hair is a big part of my identity. So I'm... I think I really appreciate the compliments about the, my hair. It's very sweet of you. What better way to celebrate Women's Day than with one of the best women of all time, Stephanie? Hell yes, Weaver of Passion. Correct. <laughs> also, um, it feels like it's very appropriate that this arrived in the mail uh, today of all days, International Women's Day. Because, um, okay, I, something very cool or some things arrived in the mail today that are very, very cool. And I want you guys to think about what would just take me to like the next level of perfect. What possible accessory could I have that would possibly like ma make this even better? <laughs> I, I see those eyes, those curious pondering eyes. Hang on. There we are, come on. White balance, do your thing. Okay, that's a little bit better. A crown of stars, beautiful necklaces. Uh, I do have some crowns uh, coming in the mail actually because um, I'm going out to a club event uh, in a couple of weeks and I just, I needed a crown for the outfit I'm putting together. And it's also so that I could do like uh, photo shoots and stuff like that and finally have uh, some crowns of my own. Um, but they're also on their way. So crown, some crowns are on the way. They haven't arrived yet. Think what would make like, okay, women, right? But women, that can kill you. If you want a little hint of what arrived in the mail. I do already have a halo, as well as like my natural ethereal glow. Um, I do have a halo as well uh, than I have for costumes and stuff. Okay, uh, so I, 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 chat if you think you know what it is. <sighs> yes. Weaver, uh, my swords for, um, uh, some of my swords for starting out with, uh, stage combat, um, training and just going through the motions and getting into practice in my own time outside of class, they arrived. Um, so I have two of them. One is an, a standard sword for just, it's lighter, it's made of plastic and it's more for like practicing gestures and blocks and stuff like that. And the other one is made of wood. So if you want to, do you want to see them? Uh, now, just before I put them on camera, just for the sake of Twitch, these are all stage combat safe. They are made of plastic or wood, and they are completely blunt. They are fake. To clarify Twitch, these are fake swords that I'm going to be showing on camera, so please do not get me in trouble. Okay, so, because I love them so much. So this is my uh, ordinary one for more practicing uh, blocks, and uh, it's really nice solid plastic uh it isn't really like flexible at all it's not flimsy it's got a good amount of um weight to it so it does definitely doesn't carry the weight of a proper metal sword so it's not so much for gaining strength um 
like with ha carrying something that's the actual proper weight of what a metal sword would weigh. Um, but it's more for practicing uh, blocks, gestures, moves, like practicing my stance and stuff like that and footwork and things like that. So really cool. Uh, that is sword number one. And the second one is technically, I believe, called a bokken. So it's a wooden practice katana. Uh, so I believe the correct term is bokken. Um, I could be wrong, but I believe that's what it's called. And, like, look at that. It is so pretty, and I love it so much. And it comes with its beautiful uh, black plastic sheath. And this is made of wood. Um, I think it's cedar. Uh, I think it's made of cedar, but it is just so pretty. And I love it so much. So this is purely for training purposes. This is a little bit heavier. Um, so I'm very, very careful, going to be very careful with this when uh, training, when practicing drills. But again, this is more for practicing uh, footwork, posture, blocking, um, running drills and stuff like that. And uh, the correct um, respectful gestures that you should be using when handling uh, any like uh, Japanese swords, specifically katanas. Um, cause there's a lot of etiquette that goes into handling, uh, swords like this. So this is to practice that, especially with, uh, stuff like sheathing, wearing it OB correctly and stuff like that. So these two beautiful swords arrived in the mail. I love them so much. And I wanted to show that to you guys because especially with it being International Women's Day, like women with swords, that's just like the extra sprinkle, sprinkle on top of already amazingness. Hee 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 hee. Ah, so I love them so much. They're so pretty. And especially because uh, we're currently playing as Rosamond, my Dark Urge. Uh, she's very handy with blades. So I wanted to show this off for, uh, before my Baldur's Gate 3 stream tonight. <laughs> the balls are in for how much do we love Stephanie chat. And the winner is 57% with the most gorgeous goddess. And more than all the stars is the second. Oh, thank you so much, my lovelies. <laughs> Uh, Steph, a question. What would sword would Rosamond wield if she were in a more urban fantasy setting? Um, well, she's a bard, so I would say she would wield probably a rapier, like a light uh, fencing sword, because she's a bard, so she's more like quick on her feet, more about disarming opponents with her words rather than putting any force into like the weapon she wields. Respectfully stab me with a sword, please. I, I there, there shall be a cue. There shall be a cue at my next convention appearance of please hit me with a sword. <laughs> uh, honestly, um, please hit me with a sword. That, that is some big energy. Like, I'm not sure if you guys had seen uh, that um, uh, that clip of uh, that uh, ASMR video that was going viral of boyfriend hitting you with a frying pan ASMR. And a part of me, like, I was talking to Scarlet about it and she's like, you know... That's kind of an untapped market for you. You could just like, like your girlfriend hits you over the head with her wooden sword ASMR for two hours. <laughs> but who knows? Now I actually have um proper props to make like, bonk like weird like, <laughs> uh, object bonking noises. <laughs> Your girlfriend whacks you over the head with your tra with her training sword for two hours. Ugh. Oh god! So happy International Women's Day, everyone. Um, I have been hard at work over the past couple of days um, with uh, some YouTube shenanigans. Um, I'll talk a little bit about that before we get started, while everyone's just filtering in and settling in for the evening. So. I had finished uh, the video that was supposed to come out for this Saturday, for tomorrow night, and it got smacked in the face with the yellow, um, like, partial demonetization. And I was fucking livid because this was one I've been working on for ages. I'd been planning this video for ages, and I was it was driving me up the, up the wall. But it was one of the ones that I also wanted to have a premiere for it, so I wanted to have it posted before or announced before Saturday um so I decided you know what I'm just gonna put this on the back burner try and clear this up and get this monetized if they take it down fine I'll try and like cut some stuff out of it because I put a lot of effort into this I wanted to go up it like and actually be able to make some kind of revenue from it um and uh, so I was like tearing my hair out and I was thinking like okay 
So that means I've got like three days to make a whole new video because I'm not going to release this one in its current state until it's all in the clear. Thankfully, it's all in the clear now. Um, but I managed in a very rare burst of creativity, I managed to conceptualize, write, edit, record, add the edit and add all the special effects in two days. And I'm actually really fucking proud of it. It came out so good, you guys. So the one that's coming out tomorrow evening is not the one that was originally intended to come out um, tomorrow, but I just wanted to be 100% sure that uh, video A was good to go and letting it just kind of sit in the backlog just a little bit longer, just to make sure that everything was all good. And the one that's going out, coming out tomorrow, I'm very, very proud of it. It came out together, it came out beautifully, and I really, really hope you guys enjoy it. No, it, it's fine, because I wanted, I wanted a video to come out tomorrow, because I'm currently releasing two videos a month. And if I didn't release one next week, then I would have to rush and make two back to back week to week and I wouldn't have breathing space in between them for you to properly guys to properly enjoy it so it's all good it's all good my lovelies um that's just like a little bit of stuff that's been happening behind the scenes recently but it's all good now it's all been sorted um no Sam I got a healthy amount of sleep okay that is the one thing that I hold myself to as a voice actor is unless I have to stay up late because of time zone differences. Like if it's a very important client and I need to have a call with them and it's like really, really like if they're based in the States and so it's gonna be late for me, but it's a good time for them. That's the only time I will stay up super late. Um, all the other times I get a healthy amount of sleep. I promise, I promise. I do take care of myself in regards to my sleep. At least I try to as best I can. Steph is a mad lesson, making me feel like I've been working hard enough when I'm in a six to eight. No! Vince, don't you dare do that. No, you, you've had a lot of stuff on your plate. Also, you have kids. You also have kids you need to take care of. It is totally fine. I am um, like just, I've been enjoying my single Pringle life and I've got extra time to work on stuff, okay? Oh, I know I'm too good to you guys. <laughs> no, I'm very appreciative of you guys being so understanding and if I did need to take time off I know I could ask for it comfortably and knowing that you guys would be very understanding, but I, I know I spoil you. I know I spoil you. I am just a giving sort of person and I like to tell stories and I like to share my talents with the world. So yes. Mm -mm. What? How long have we been doing our little pre-stream chat? Uh, about 10-ish minutes. You know, you don't even have to ask us to take time off. You should always come first. I know. I know. I, I take time off when I know I need to take time off. If I'm feeling burnt out, if I need some time to uh, rework some creative muscles, or if I'm going to be working on something big and I need more time to put it together, then yes, 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 yes. Don't you worry, guys. Um, also, especially if I'm going to be like traveling or seeing family and stuff like that, then that always comes first, of course. But I do very much appreciate you, my lovely Lost Tales. You are such wonderful fans. And I'm so grateful to have you in my community and have such a wonderful, thriving archive full of all of your lovely souls. So thank you so much for everything that you've done for me all the many many years of support because i've been doing this for a very long time like um uh when you see uh my icon uh that comes up in the twitch chat uh that badge it's like six years or something like that i've been streaming or something like that because i took a break in the middle and then i came back to twitch once i moved to this new apartment um so it's been about six like i think it's maybe closer to like seven or eight years i've been making like youtube stuff uh in one form or another so i've been around a while and it feels really good oh at the rate right, once we hit 2030 we can expect steph to have editors to do work for us so she can have more time for herself while balancing being a steady voice actor oh, who knows like I will say one of the biggest things that I am very appreciative of 
is when I'm part of a production where I just need to cut out like the flubs and like any like little hiccups and stuff like that in my recordings and then they handle everything else like the audiobook that I did recently the school run that was done in a professional studio I just had to sit there and narrate and focus on the characters and they took care of everything else and it was wonderful it was so nice <laughs> Oh, amazing. Eight years and haven't lost a drop of fabulousness. Oh, I know. If anything, I've only become more fabulous over the years because I've been, like, prioritizing taking care of myself and doing stuff that I care about and that I'm passionate about. <laughs> At this rate, Steph might surpass... Weaver, that is very high praise. At this rate, Steph might surpass Tim Tams in terms of being one of the best things to come out of Australia. No. Okay. So I'm not going to rank it because that's rude. But some of the best things to come out of Australia are Tim Tams, Quokkas, Heath Ledger, Margot Robbie, Hugh Jackman, Kate Beckinsale. Not Kate Beckinsale, sorry, Kate Blanchett. She's an Aussie and I love her. Um... And many, many other amazing uh, Australian celebrities. Also, Sam Reed, who plays Lestat in uh, the interview of the Vampire TV series. Apparently, he's Australian as well. And that I don't know what it is about that. It just makes me so happy because I love that series so much. All right. So, how are you guys feeling? You ready for more Baldur's Gate 3? You guys ready to meet Karlak? Because we need to go and adopt Karlak. And then we're going to go back to the... Um, uh, Emerald Enclave and uh, get some shit because I want to see what happens when you bring Karlak back before you recruit Will because I'm very curious about that. Okay. Steph, please, you're already one of the best things to come out of Australia because the world wouldn't be the same without you nor would our lives. Vince. <laughs> Thank you. At least to me. I know you're one of the best things to come out of Australia. Hell yes. Hell yes. Okay, let's go get Mom, okay? I will say she's probably not going to like Rosamond. She's probably really not going to like Rosamond because Rosamond's a bitch. <laughs> but we will see. We will see, my lovelies. And here we go. Okay, but first of all, I was going to read a book. Uh... No, quick save. Because I want this book for myself. Because I want... Oh, actually! Shall we... Okay, because I think last time it bugged out. Should we try giving the Necromancy of Thay to Astarian again? Because we haven't yet really won him over so much in this run. I was thinking originally, like, okay, no, Rosamond's going to read it and take it for herself. I think I want to give it to Astarian and hopefully it'll work this time. Necromancy of Thay 2. Necronomicon Boogaloo. Oops. The book is locked tight with no visible keyhole. Only an oval recess in the cover's mouth. You try to examine the book, but the longer you stare, the more those piercing amethyst eyes draw you in. Okay, she holds the book and she can feel a sense of the power that's coming out of it. And she's going to take the amethyst into her hand, just with kind of a curious smirk on her face, and slot it into the cover. And as she's holding on to it, she has already had her own boon recently and a gift, a dark gift given to her. So she's in a surprisingly generous mood and she turns to Astarian and hands the book to him. Perhaps you can make sense of this. Excellent. You don't know what he read, but it had an effect. His eyes are hungry. 
Well, quite the page turner. I'll get back to it when I have more time to focus. You're welcome. Okay, let's go get Mama K. I imagine she also gives the book to a star in with a kind of somewhat malicious wink like glint in her eye because she maybe didn't trust what that book would have an effect how that book would have had an effect on her but she's got no issue with handing it to one of her companions and seeing if they get corrupted or go insane Yes, I made some slight changes. Some slight adjustments to Rosamond. You may not be able to notice them at first, but I want to make like these uh, little updates to her over time discreet, but after a while you will pick up on it. Okay, there's the knolls, so let's try and be sneaky. I was trying to concentrate. Stepping softly. Okay, um I I don't know how I forgot this, but my brain was just like, oh yeah, let's let's be nice and sneaky. I've been playing uh some league this afternoon and I'm trying to um get better or at learning how to play gin. Um the uh incredible marksman the artist and um if you don't know what his voice sounds like you're in for a treat because his voice is just wonderful damn it i i didn't get it in time boo so just for the back-to-back -back audio of like Jin from League of Legends and um, Astarian just now. My, my brain is very happy. Still breathing, despite everything. Oh no, that's going to be you guys, so no thank you. Actually. Nice. Damn it. Yeah, this kind of took us a bit by surprise. Let's spend one on the superiority die. Cut and run. Will that be enough? Yes, because... Yes, because some friends are in combat. Yes. Nice. And let's summon a spiritual weapon over here. Okay. Nice. Like, okay, so for those of you who are looking up what Jin from League of Legends looks like, could you tell he's my type? He's also a psychopathic murderer who's obsessed with killing his victims perfectly. I mean... <laughs> it makes sense, right? <laughs> like, if you're gonna look up the full lineup of all the champions in League of Legends and you see Jin, you're like... Yeah, that's the one that Steph likes. That makes sense. Nice. 
Nice. Okay, both of those aren't the best. Mm. Nice. Nice one, basket. Does he have horns too? Uh, well, there is a skin you can get for Jin called the Blood Moon. Uh, and he, I think he has like a kind of um, demon inspired mask. You're going to be fine, Astara, and we got you. Nice. Let's get you back on your feet, Astarian. Take you. Uh, I don't think like ram horns. I think they're like smaller horns. I could be wrong. Fall by my hand. Ah. You little shit. How... How dare you? I'm so glad that this isn't an on the run. Nice. Let's finish this. My god. Take you. Fine, Astarian. You got this. Up next, you will reveal that you enjoy true crime and the enemies to lovers trope. I mean... Shush. I'm starting to become predictable. This is dangerous. My god. Oh, you guys... You guys suck! Okay. Help me up, and then I can help Astarian. There we go. Oh. Get out of the way a little bit. Stupid Noel. You bow or you break. There we go. Let's get going. Help starting up. Stop moaning like that. It's distracting. And okay, who's hurt? It's just me and a starring that's hurt badly. Uh yeah, let's take a quick short rest. Around. Let's go hurt someone. Oh, I like the sound of that. Watch your back. There we go, that's a bit better. Let's move. It's time to rob everything. Oh, and thank you for the hydrate check. Sorry about that. Mm. Thank you, thank you. Taking those. What's hiding here? Now 
Now there are those gnolls that are downwind a little bit. So let's be a little sneaky. And hopefully we can get the jump on them. Oh, I, I do like this letter. I'll read it again. Written in a furious sloping hand, this is a letter to the editor of Boulder's Bash, a tabloid notorious for its controversial articles. Dear editor, I find it despicable, nay diabolical, that you would defend Boulder's Gate's ridiculous restrictions against regarding animals in the city. No animal larger than a peacock may gain entry. How archaic. My darling Giselle is the most well-behaved bear you'll ever meet. And yet to spend time with my child, I must visit my summer home in Cormier. I call upon the Parliament of Pierce to resolve this issue immediately. The emotional and psychological well-being of the people of Baldur's Gate is at stake, and I shall take this to the highest of authorities should it not be dealt with accordingly. Right now, Giselle cries out for her father. This archaic policy has separated a child from her parent. I don't know how Grand Duke Older Raven Guard lives with himself. Yours faithfully, Mr. R. Pickens. Sam, I can drop an occasional spicy spicy line whenever I damn well please because it's fun <laughs> let's try this something different Go. Shadow Heart. Okay. Actually, can I cast... Yes, I can cast Fairy Fire. Nice! And let's rally a Starion. Because he needs a little bit of a buffer right now. And let's summon... Let's summon a great sword, spiritual weapon down here. Nice. Ooh, very nice. Did that do anything? Yes. Okay, they're all focused on the spiritual weapon. Good. How dare you? Does that count them? Yes, it counts as them being engaged with an enemy. Or an ally, I should say. Nice. Put you out front. Nice. Oh, that reminds me, Steph. Any plans on seeing Dune Part Two while it's in theaters? Or are you waiting till it comes out on stream? Comes out on streaming. Very good question. Um, I really loved the first one. I really, really, really liked it. I'll. I might see it in cinemas because I have a feeling it will be so worth it to see it on the big screen. I just get so agitated by other people in cinemas. That's the only thing. 
Um, I get very easily distracted if someone else is on their phone or chatting with a friend or something like that. Whereas in the comfort of my own home, none of that. None of that whatsoever. But that's just me. That's just me. And I know uh, a lot of people saying, oh, you have to see it in cinemas. I really want to see it in cinemas. Let's go. I just get so frustrated with other people. Oh, if I had the money to rent out a whole theater just for my own viewing experience to watch it, hell yes. Oh sweet, I'm invisible. Because I have my lovely new cloak on. Yes! Another step forward. This must be where the Nulls attacked. Oh no, how terrible all that blood. Hey Jay, how's it going? Honestly, a lot of theatres are kind of not worth going to, especially if it's a blockbuster. How much is this scene in London? How many people do we have in chat? Um, okay, for like one of the really nice uh, cinemas in like Leicester Square, uh, I think the seats are usually like 20 pounds or something like that a seat. So, very expensive if you wanted to rent out the whole theatre, but those are the kind of theatres where they have like premieres and stuff like that. Also, I'm trying to save money, so that's probably more of an incentive to um, save a little bit longer. All this blood. Happy Dark Urge noises. Hell yes. As per my last letter, let's have a look at this. Though the name of the recipient is obscure, the letter appears to continue a debate of some heat. Your analysis is flawed. The hells are not so simple to understand. Boiling down nine cosmological layers into evil but with a few more rules does generations of scholars discredit. Each layer is its own unique moral and magical ecosystem. What Zario permits in Avernus may be blasphemy to Mammon in the chained cities of Minaros. The hells bear not only to their whim and will, but to their mere presence. The more souls they require, the more the... Uh, that combined influence spreads. Avernus itself is glorious for study. Watch a Yugoloth mercenary debate mid-battle with a Rakshasa and tell me I'm wrong. From its red starless sky to every bloody tributary leading to the Styx, there is something to explore. Of course, getting down there in the middle of the Blood War is a bit stressful, but you can't judge what you don't know. I've gotten off topic. The point is you're wrong. Looking forward to your reply. Best, uh, Silvira Savikas, Sage of Candlekeep. But yeah, I'm also, like, talking about, like... Oh, another hand crossbow. Good, I'll give that to a Starian. Um, I'm also talking about, like, movie theatres that are... Like, designed for, like, premieres. That's why they're so expensive, because I live in London. Everything's super expensive in London. Uh, deliver the chest to me unopened. Read the first sen sentence again. Open it and I will know, because you will be dead. This is not a threat. This is what will happen if you open that chest. I'm going to actually take that document because it's highlighted in orange, meaning it's plot related or plot useful. To the good folk of Faerun. Let's have a look at that. Well, the gate is closed. Baldur's Gate, a bastion of commerce and culture, rewarded only with corruption and catastrophe. Crime, poverty, taxation, burdens unfairly heaped upon the shoulders of the common uh, citizenry. Thieves and outsiders grow fat on the teat, while native Baldurians starve in the street. For too long, the Grand Duke and the Parliament of Peers have left our gate unguarded. If you, like us, stand ready to defend it, then join like-minded individuals for a frank exchange of ideas. Join the keepers of the gate. Enough is enough. The gate is closed. It's interesting coming across this stuff in Act 1, um, because then that feels like propaganda that probably Gortash came up with. 
A circular from the Church of Ogma, Lord of All Knowledge. It is stamped with the seal of um, Brevek Fainor, Most High Law Master of the Unrolling Scroll Temple in Baldur's Gate. To the good godly folk of Faerun, in the first instance and in the name of Lord Binder himself, let me bid you thanks. The realm's shaking events that have since become known as the Second Sundering marked a time of great confusion and upheaval. Gods fell and rose again, lost continents reappeared, and the very weave shook as the plains birthed a new and yet mysterious order. Such chaos is often anathema to Ogma's sacred pursuit of truth and knowledge. However, with the help of the innumerable first-hand accounts submitted to our agents by good folk all across the continent, the Church is satisfied that an image of these strange years has begun, begun to coalesce. As such, we would kindly ask that no further unsolicited material on this matter be sent to our temples. While all knowledge is of import to Lord Binder, we are confident that any future plane-shaping events will not be pre uh, presaged in the shape of tobacco smoke or red in the droppings of the village herd. A new and strange age is upon us for divine guidance. We humbly bid you to look to your local temple leaders and to forward such relevant materials to them. Yours ever seeking, Brevik Feynor, Servant of Ogma. Now, just drop that because it's not really useful. But yeah, thankfully with um, a lot of streaming services, now... Uh, maybe within like a week or maybe a month you can rent or buy um movies if they're still in cinemas so honestly i'm probably gonna rent uh june and oh june uh part two i should say and really like sit down appreciate it make a night of it savor it like a fine wine like i like to do with uh series that i watch Okay, so last time we did this, we, like, Shatterheart remarked on Karlak. I want to send Shatterheart back to camp so we can have Karlak join us right away. Something the matter. And see if anyone else regards her with anything else. Uh, we should journey separately for now. I'll see you whenever we camp. If you're sure. As you like. Perhaps I'll see you at camp. Off you go. So at the moment, I just have Team Blood. Because we're all on board with Blood. Until we get Minthara, and then we will be like the complete Team Blood. Or maybe it should be like Team Bloodshed or something. I don't know. We need to come up with a cool team name. Team Plasma. <laughs> Why does that sound like a name um, for like uh, an opposing uh, gang in a Pokemon game? Team Plasma. Because we've got Team Magma. We've got Team Plasma. A key. Wonder what it opens. Okay, here we go. What's up with discussion? <sighs> Are you all right? been better oh fuck me it's you from the nautiloid please tell me i found you before those so-called paladins of tear did i don't remember you from the ship where were you now that's the story and I'll tell it to you, but truth be told, we shouldn't stay here too long. See, these paladins of... A great heat roars through you. Her heat, fiery as the hells. 
Then you're lost in visions of demonic armies as you tear through a landscape of fire and blood. A blood war. You saw it from above as the Nautiloid passed through Avernus. This woman was on the front line. Who's that? Uh, it's the tadpole in our heads. It connected us. Fuck's sake. Mountains as far as the eye can see. Guess that explains the voices. From that peak I got into your head, you've made some inroads trying to get the thing sorted. But alas, no joy. I'm Karlak. And you are? I'm Rosamond. Well met, soldier. Now that we're old pals, how would you feel about helping me kill some evil bastards? A little background, if your moral compass needs something to point at. You already know I fought in the Blood War. I was good at killing demons. Really good. So good, Zariel, the Archdevil herself, made me her personal attack dog. I played along until I could get the fuck out of there. It took me ten years to properly escape, but now I'm free. Zariel sent goon after goon to hunt me down. But believe me when I tell you, I'm not going. The latest yappy little dog she sicked on me are nearby. A group of dopes posing as paladins of tear. Wanna help me take them down? Hmm. Let's send them back to where they came from. Fuck yes. They cornered me outside the toll house just up the hill. Doubt they've gone far after the scorching I gave them. After we've mopped them up, we can work on evicting this parasite and take Faerun by the short hairs. Sound good? You want to just team up with some blood-stained killer? Because I'm fine with that. Sounds like a great plan. I'd hug you if it wouldn't scorch your skin off. Whew, I'm getting all het up. Let's make tracks. Blood. This whole plane reeks of it. That'll wake you up of a fine day, won't it? Mm. I do not need a weapon. My senses are sharp as steel. I love them. I love them so much. Okay, I'll take all of those. Thank you. Let's get going. I do need to level up Karlak, though. What did I have written down that I wanted to... Karlak as? I think it was, um... Berserker, like I did last time. Yes, Berserker. I have notes. Okay, so the winner is of a Team Blood or Team Plasma. Vote is Plasma. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. Or maybe, like, because uh, this game takes inspiration from, or in text for stuff that's um, infernal, takes inspiration from uh, Latin. We could also do um, Team Sanguine, which I think works well. Because I'm calling Rosamond the Sanguine Singer. And I have something cool for you, Karlak. It is a very heavy b battle axe. You're welcome. Actually, no, I'm going to hold on to those because those are useful. I'm going to give that to you, Starion. And a second hand crossbow for you. And some more poison. Okay, people like Team Sanguine? Okay. So, I'm probably thinking, like, one... When Minthara... I get Minthara to join our group, it's probably going to be a lineup of um, Rosamond, Astarian... Uh, Lazel and Minthara for like a balance between myself and then Minthara for like healing capabilities. But we shall see. Okay, Karlak, let's level you up, darling. Oh, I love her. I love her so much. There we go. Berserker, yes. Okay. Wanna dance? 
How are you going for potions and other fun things? Cool, cool. Give you better axe. I'll take that back because that's a pretty standard great axe. Anything in particular I should give to you? I think we're good for now. Can I actually make any more potions? Healing potions, I should specify. Not yet, that's okay. There's a star in. I'm gonna give you one of my s smaller ones. Because I might go to the Emerald Enclave before we go to uh, fight the paladins because we've only got a little bit more before we're next level and then I think once we level up then we should be strong enough to take on the paladins. Also, I really like um, the, just the word sanguine. It's a really good word. It's used a lot in vampire literature and uh, it, it feels appropriate to call um, Rosamond's uh, party uh, Team Sanguine. It's very telling that um, in my previous playthrough with Silesia, we had Team Horny because we had Silesia, who was a tiefling, Astarian, Karlak, and Will at one point, so they were Team Horny. And now we have Team Sanguine because everything's so serious now. Uh. <laughs> I think Sanguine is a type of vampire. Uh, sanguine is the Latin term for blood. I believe. I could be wrong. I think that's correct. Okay, let's go to the get the waypoint down for this area. Bodies everywhere. Accident or sabotage. Oh, good. Nice. More gold for us, yes please. So yeah, we just need a little bit more stuff before we can... Let's have a look. Oh, a little bit more XP before we... Uh, level up. So, let's head back to the Emerald Environs. Mm. Okay. It's okay, Carlac. Like we just need to take care of some things first. Hey, we're still going after those paladins, right? Can't leave Zariel's bruisers roaming the coast. Right. Don't worry. We'll go after them. Good news. Can't wait to see them finished. Okay. And now I'll bring Karlak in to, uh, because we're just going in here to, you know, sell some stuff. And we just happened to cross paths with Will while we're there. Like, Will's just here training the kids, and then all of a sudden, these chuckle fucks rock, rock up with, um... Uh, this towering... specimen, for lack of a better word, of power. Let's sell some stuff first. Need anything else? Of course, but please remember, you're not the only one in need. This muscle mummy, indeed, because we love muscle mummy. Actually, no, I'm going to hold on to that potion of animal speaking because I am not taking that spell. Some old boots. Things I don't need.
And everything else fairly standard. Anything else I want to sell? Hold on to that pendant because that could be useful. Do you have any more potions? Yes, you do. Okay, that works. Sylvanas be with you. And also with you. <gasps> now, let's make sure everyone has enough potions. There we go, that should be better. Oh, we have our first Pick My Voice of the Night from Weaver of Fashion. Since we got Carl like in our party now, let's bring in some more muscle and hear some beautiful words from Glash of the Green Fire. Oh. I'm always more than happy to drop in unexpected. <laughs> no. Of course that does. You would choose strangers over us. Not what I said. Hmm. Is Will around here? He should be. Oh, don't tell me he didn't disappear somewhere. Oh, gods. Hmm. See, we haven't met Will yet, apparently, so he hasn't joined us. Hmm. He might be around here somewhere. Very well. Let's have a <clears throat> chat with the people running this joint. I saw you at the gates. You fight well. A few words for the kids. Spare a story or two. <sighs> I'm not really great with the kids, but I'll do my best. They're just children. Why are you teaching them to fight? It's that, or teach them to beg for their lives. The goblins will chase us to Baldur's Gate, and these kids know it. A warrior like you could lift their spirits. I'll lift their spirits by wiping out that whole camp of goblins by myself. prefer when they smile and I prefer when they scream that was dark edge saying that not Glasha damn it <laughs> hey Glasha have you ever met Karlak on your travels before and would you ever consider being friends with her oh hell yes oh I would love to be friends with her she looks like she is fun ah <sighs> Hmm. But it seems that we are missing someone, and I don't know what this means for the rest of us. <sighs> Let me just check something quickly. Because we did... Yep, all the bodies are... removed except for the goblins. Hmm, let's just continue as we thought we were. And everything's fine.
Honestly, I challenged her to a, an arm wrestling match, but I have a feeling she probably scorched my skin off. Maybe if she wore like some protective gloves or something like that. <laughs> not gamble our lives, our futures, on people who are as good as dead. We must leave for Baldur's Gate at once. Can we all just take a moment, please? What's the point in blazing spells if we don't bloody use them? We should stay. These people aren't fighters. We can help. Or yell louder. That's fine too. Hmm. I'm choosing what Rosamond would say, and she would just watch this and say nothing. Ronan's right, sis. We should leave while we still can. Or would you deny your brother here his chance at fortune in Baldur's Gate? Oh, fine. Let's sneak away like God's damned cowards. But if something happens to these people, it's on us. I hope you know that. Oh, this is going to be interesting. Already so many things are different and... <clears throat> this is going to be interesting, that's all I can say. Let's go here and maybe... Smell that. Go Fresh this way. Air. I smell only fear. The fear of cowards lying in wait for an ambush. Oh, you can take a day off once in a while, Lazel. I do not take days off. I'd even forego sleep if such a thing were feasible. The one advantage an elf holds over it, if you need. Do your tasks ever become a hassle to deal with by chance? Um, not really. I try to file them down as best I can, because they're like fingernails a little bit. They grow over time. Not quickly, but they do grow. They're much more prominent for male half orcs. They like to grow them out big, big lower jaw and everything like that. And they're strong too. Some uh, some orcs and half orcs like to carve runes into them. I think if Karlak and Glasha ever crossed paths, there'd be a whole army, just the two of them. Damn right. Damn right. I'm a whole army just on my own. Especially with my adorable human at my side. This is going to be interesting. <laughs> and I think with that we come to the end of that Pick My Voice, so thank you so much Weaver for requesting Glasha. She's always wonderful. Lads, for the love of all that is holy, I've never clapped eyes on your poor sister. Drop the act, hag. You was the last to see me, Rena. Just let her go. Please. Thank goodness you're here, sweetie. I, I don't know what's come over these boys. Stop this. We, we won't ask again. Just because she's an old woman in a swamp, she's a hag. Lay off the fairy tales, lads. Sweetie, be careful. She, she's with the hag. 
Don't bloody stand there gaping. Get her. Okay, so um, because I, I know I had to kind of react to that in character, but uh, huh. I don't know what's up with Will not being there, so we might not have Will at all during this run. And that kind of makes me really sad. But at the same time, I'm kind of relieved. Blood follows me everywhere. Oh my stars! I, I didn't mean for this to happen. Okay, I think because I'm invisible. Um, hang on. No, wait. There we go. What happened? It sounded like a heated argument. Those poor boys were looking for their little sister, Marina. The girl who's staying with me. This is all my fault. But I made a promise. Marina begged me not to breathe the word if they came looking for her. And my word is my bond. That poor thing would be distraught. We can't let her know it would break her poor heart. I'd best get going, but please stop by my house. I'd like to thank you proper. What a sweet lady. I'm sure there's nothing weird about her at all. Never a dull moment. Tattered letter. Dear Joel and Demir, don't get mad, I mean it. I'm only leaving this note so you don't panic and do something stupid. I'm going to the hag. I owe it to Connor to make things right. You know he did the same for me. I'll be back soon, so not a word to mum, alright? She has enough on her plate, Marina. Oh no, how terrible. Oh, thank you so much, Jay. It, it might be bugged. Because uh, if you guys remember when we first did the fight at the gate, uh, Will got killed. And so then we reloaded it in order to save him. But I maybe something happened, and I don't know. A chill runs up your spine. You feel like you're being watched. Have a little look around for chance. Everything's fine. The place has a quiet sense of calm. You can't see anything strange. I'm not taking those apples. Loving note. Take a breather, lovelies, and have a bite to eat on me. Oh, that's so sweet, Auntie Ethel. Well, maybe we should take them then. Keep your distance, darling. Oh, now do you guys remember who is in the swamp? Give that another go, please. And Astarian hasn't revealed that he's a vampire yet. Such a oh, oh, I want to see this. I want to see what happens when you don't know he's a vampire. I mean, we know he's a vampire. But Rosamond doesn't. She hasn't gotten up close and personal with him yet. Ow. Let's get out of the water, maybe. Maybe a bit more cautious. I say as I bleed everywhere. Okay, let's do our second long rest. Okay, that's a bit better. Oh, but look how lovely this place is! Not a care in the world. What a lovely change of scene. 
butterflies everywhere. Oh, it's delightful. Got to this waypoint. Yes, he is here. Okay. Oh, I'm curious. Something's on my mind. Ah, stranger. Forgive the aroma. You catch a waft of something foul, metallic, and sickly sweet. Powdered iron vine. An old hunter's trick. Most monsters will think twice before making a meal of me. You're a monster hunter. I'm surprised. I thought all girl were vagrant cutthroats. Uh, pardon, but who or what is a girl? A mystical and dangerous people. We travel the land, never settling in one place. We steal your chickens, curse your crops, seduce your daughters. Your friend here has heard it all, I'm sure. I wish I had half the power settled folk think my people possess. Alas, I am a simple wanderer. A simple wanderer and monster hunter. But I'm no witch doctor or cutthroat. So, what monster are you hunting? I, no, let me take that again. I have to be more Rosamond, not Silesia. So, what monster are you hunting? Something terrifying, no doubt. Dragon? Cyclops? Kobold? Nothing so dramatic. I'm hunting for a vampire spawn. I fear he's gone to ground. I hope the hag of these lands can help me flush him out. If I can afford her blood price. A vampire spawn? Why? Everything alright? Yes. Yes, fine. It's just specific. Why not kill the gnolls or goblins rampaging around here? It is a sacred mission from the head of my tribe. She sent me here to capture the beast and return it to her. Capture? And bring it where? Baldur's Gate. My people wait for me there. Under all the smiles, you can feel Astarian's tension. He's coiled like a spring, hand inching towards his weapon. Okay, she's she doesn't know why he's so riled up, but she does spot this, so I'm going to nudge a little bit. <clears throat> Is your friend ill? I have some tea that might help. No, no. I'm quite well. We should go, but you have fun tracking your monster. Why not join us? We could use a monster hunter. No, uh, I mean, <laughs> we have different quests. I wouldn't want to distract this fellow from his path any more than he'd want to lead us from ours. The elf is right. I have my own road to walk. A road that leads me straight to a hag's den, alas. But I wish you well. Be safe. Wow, okay, that was interesting. Hmm... Hmm, I wonder why Astarian's acting so nervous. Are you alright, Astarian? I knew we were a strange band, but a fugitive from the hills? <laughs> now that's someone worth knowing. Not that I want to get on the wrong side of any devils, but this Karlak is a survivor. Plus, I appreciate anyone who opens a conversation with threats of bodily harm. I see you are also a man of refined taste. Mm. It looked like you were almost ready to tear that monster hunter apart. We're not wandering these wilds looking for stimulating conversations. Of course my knife was ready. The Gur are duplicitous. I've had my share of run-ins, so caution is only natural. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Karlak's got the brawn of a warrior and the wiles of a survivor. 
best of all, she speaks her mind plainly and fully. Show her due respect. Hell yeah. Well, let's go have tea with Auntie Ethel. There's nothing weird about this. Ooh, I'm curious, does the will well have any in strange Fresh, interactions? Sweet smelling water gurgles gently below. I'm not drinking from the well. Mm -mm. Let's have a look around here. I just want to completely like fill out the rest of the map before we get too preoccupied. But yeah, now I'm really curious because we didn't kill the monster hunter. I'm very curious to see if we encounter him later on. Because yeah, when we were playing as Silesia, she was, uh, she knew about us, uh, what a Starion really is. And was like ready to jump to his defense to protect him. But now Rosamond is just side-eyeing a Starion like, what is wrong with you? Like, I'm prone to moments of violence with strangers, but that was strange for you to do. Walk in death. Hmm. I don't want a crumb left on that plate, girl. Auntie Ethel, please. One more bite, and this pie is gonna come back up to say hello. Don't make me get the wooden spoon. You're eating for two, so get to it. Oh, if it isn't my hero. You took ages. Come in, come in. Feel free to relax yourself and have a cuppa. Hmm? Gods, grant me patience. Eat up, Marina. I won't say it again. You have an interesting home. Beautiful, isn't it? It's my little refuge for the lost and hopeless. People in dire need travel from all over Faerun to see little old me. And I do my damnedest to help them. And you, Petal, well, you need a lot of help. That wriggler swimming in your brain juice is a bit of an inconvenience, isn't it? How do you know that? Because you stink. And I know the stench of mind flayer anywhere. I can tell you're almost done cooking. You know, you could turn just like that. What do you say? Want me to take care of the little bugger? I know a devil that's offered to remove it. A devil? <laughs> Spare me. Blathering windbags in love with the sound of their own voices. I'm the safer bet. Plus, you'll get to keep your soul. Hmm. Depends on the price. Well, that depends on the job. A removing a parasite is no small feat. But I like you, Petal. So I'll only ask for something small. One of your pretty little peepers. I pluck it from your head, kiss it for luck, then back in it goes. Won't take but a moment. That is my price. Nothing more, nothing less. You want one of my eyes? Why? I'm afraid that's my business, Petal. It's nothing nefarious, though. I promise. Will my sight be damaged? A touch, but sure you have two eyes in your skull, don't you? No need to be precious. Mm. Uh, that's a poor bargain. I'll try my luck elsewhere. Ethel, can I please? 
quiet. You've had enough pampering. And you, my door is always open, Petal. Aunt Yettel is here for you. I can just walk into homes now. This gets better and better. Mm hmm. Well, that's a strange thing to say, Astarian. Why would you say something like that? Okay, I'm curious. Now that we're in her home, can we buy more things from her? Have a word. Hello, sweetness. You going to give me one of those precious peepers? Uh. No, I want to see. Ta -ta, Petal. Come see Auntie soon. Okay, so I'm curious. Because I'm trying to play it like and try and see slightly different paths for people with different choices and stuff like that. And I'm kind of using a bit of meta knowledge to just continue the conversation with Auntie Ethel and like just play it off like, oh, of course we don't like see anything strange that's going on here. Of course everything's fine. Astarian's just acting weird. Everything's fine. Nothing strange at all about that. But I did see that I leveled up. A star still needs to level up, so he needs a bit more XP, but that's alright, we'll get to that. But we should be strong enough now to take care of the paladins. Ooh, yes, 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 yes. Let's see. Mei Chan could be useful. Ooh, no, minor illusion's probably good for more being more strategic in combat because then I can minor illusion to draw people out um, and then Astarian can sneak attack so yes I'm gonna get minor illusion as cantrip now spells I've already got a few that are concentration what are ones blindness calm emotions oh thanks for the hydrate check appreciate it Heat Metal is also concentration, but that is a very useful damage spell. Hold person, invisibility, knock, lesser restoration, and dazzle force. Almost all of these are concentration. I'm going to go with Heat Metal. Okay, now. Spell. Oh, not spells. Feats. So, I'm either thinking of going to go with Warcaster for advantage on maintaining concentration. And then I also learn Shock and Grasp as a, that I can cast as a reaction. Yes, and also just before that fight with the Paladins, Heat Metal is probably a very good uh, spell to use. But yes, I'm going to grab uh, Warcaster. And then when we uh, pick our second feat, I'm going to go with Lucky, I think. Yes. Lazel. For you, Lazel. Let's see. Because you're a battle master. What would work best with you? Giant Weapon Master is probably better for Karlak. Mobile. I think Sentinel is probably best for Lazel. When an enemy within melee range attacks an ally, you can use a reaction to make a weapon attack against the enemy. A uh, target ally must not have the Sentinel feat. You can gain advantage on opportunity attacks, and when you hit a creature with an opportunity attack, it can no longer move for the rest of its turn. Yep, I'm going to pick Sentinel for Lazel, because that also makes sense in character. Yes. Uh, oh, what was the one that I picked before? Oh, a Savage Attacker was also very good. When making melee weapon attacks, you roll your damage uh, die twice and use the highest result. I'm going to grab that, actually. 
And then when we do the second round of feats, then I will get um, Grey Weapon Master, I think. Yes, let's go with Savage Attacker. There we go. Um, let's just get a little bit more experience for uh, Astarian. So let's head down here. Actually, no, it's this way. Yee. How much? Not too much. Maybe even if we just walked around a little bit more, we might get a bit more XP. Useful stuff. Ow, my finger. Ow. I have to remember, don't touch the things. Oops. Okay, yes, with this Druid Sanctuary, then we might be able to do this fight and then get a bit more XP. I have saved. Damn it. get into the thick of it as well and then the two of us stay back here cool nice okay come on can't stay idle okay one two Okay, damn it. Thought I was being clever, that's fine. I hate that these guys can just keep summoning methods. Can you actually move just about there or so? Hoping that would be a bit better, that's fine. Hang on. I don't have a bonus action. Hmm, that's weird. 
Let's do... Okay, that's once per short rest. I can do that. I'm going to wait until these guys come over here before doing Gargantuan Cleave. Here's a superiority die. Get a little bit closer. Then it should be able to cast Fairy Fire on you two. Nice. Yeah, I hate the methods so much. I hate that they pop when they die. It's so annoying. Do the unexpected. Good. So I want to take care of the ancient ones because they're the ones who keep summoning shit. There we go. Damn it. Time to strike. Nice, that's one. And I'm going to use my action surge now and see if I can take out. Oh. Use a precision attack for another one. I want to try and get one of the other ones. Damn it! It's fine. Nice, and that one's off balance. I will say, of all the fights, this is one of the more, like, kind of tedious ones, just because they keep summoning methods. I can cast Shatter on these two. Oh. Or Scroll of Burning Hands, because they're also made of wood. Nice! Actually, no. Can I move there? Snarian. That's the weaker one. Okay, that's another one down. Ready for another round. Okay, yes, you'll take an attack of opportunity, but then you can... That's fine. But then you can gargantuan cleave both of these guys. Nice. And frenzied strike on that one. Yeah, that's fine. Let's see. Let's 
also got the stupid money condition, so let's... There we go, that's better. Yep, we just got two of the ancient ones now in the woodwards. Nice. Urgh, stop it. Okay, let's get a potion. Vicious mockery. Mm. Let's try and get some more of these mud methods. Nice. And a frenzied attack. Yes, very nice job, Karlak. Nice. I could take a few more hits. Should be okay. Damn it! Okay. And let's level two uh, healing word on Karlak. So she can keep fighting a little bit longer. Actually... Yes. Come on. There we go. Come on. There we go. That's one of them down. Potion for you, Liesel. And yeah, that won't take attack of opportunity from them. Can't wait until we've got two attacks. Ah! Ah! You're gonna be okay. That's fine, that's what we've got healing oh, scrolls for. Okay, yes, and then Lazel can get me back on my feet. I'll be fine. Nice. Careful, I might. Help me, Astarian. Oh, but that was that was close. I know we're not doing um an honor run, but that was very close. Let's do a Song of Rest. There we go. Milk, thank you so much for the follow. That was tricky. Something good here, I hope. That was a hard fight, but it was so good though. Okay, now that shield. Woodward shield. Words and snaring strike. Um Lazel is a fighter. She could wield shields as well. I think she's got a longsword at the moment. I crave blood. Are you proficient in shields? I think you are. Let me just check. Sickle spears, armor. Yes, she can wield shields. How many die today? How many die tomorrow? There we go. 
go. Oh, but that was tricky. I think, depending on how strong you are, um, and what point in the game you come to this area, this fight is either really straightforward or it's very tricky. Because they just keep summoning methods and they hurt you when they explode and they suck! The sparkle hands. On a hit with an unarmed attack, the wearer gains two lightning charges. That's really good for um, monks. I don't really think anyone in our party can best utilize it, so we might sell those. Ooh. Letter to... Korga? Korga, Oladan has sent word of your progress. I am pleased that the Rite of Thorns has begun. I depart soon from Cloakwood to Boulder's Gate. Should you need any further aid from my circle, now is the time to ask. Once cloistered, the Emerald Grove will be the Shadow Druid's domain and you its first druid. In Faldorn's memory, our druid Aelis. Korga! Oh, Korga, you naughty girl. You've been messing around with the shadow druids. I'm... Oh, I'm going to call you out in front of everyone. Oh, this is some shady shit. Now, that would be interesting is uh, multi-classing uh, Karlak with a few levels of monk as well. That could be cool. Hmm... Let's have a little look up here. Anything useful up here? There we go. Now, our health isn't doing great. Like, I have enough spells. We should be fine for the paladin fight. Because we do need to do that today. Because I think if you do a long rest, then they disappear. So let's just clear out this last little bit of the map, and then we'll head over and do the paladin fight. Go. Oh yeah, and then that's right. This is this um, very morbid-looking campsite. Well, looks like we missed all the fun. Lots of supplies, though. Good, because we need all the supplies we can get with this run. Nice. Yes. Purple die. Scroll of Expeditious Retreat. Very good. Now, that's all cleared up. Let's head back over to the Risen Road. Down some potions and then do this fight. And level up a Starion. This area looks completely different to how I experienced it. It still blows my mind how great this game is and how many ways you can experience it. Your Dark Edge run already feels completely different from your first one. And I'm trying my best to not use meta knowledge and make choices in character while still showing in as much of a different story as I can. Like, even just having it or it just worked out that way that Will hasn't joined us yet. And Karlax joined us first. That's going to maybe lead to something interesting. Uh, Astarian hasn't yet revealed he's a vampire. And we had the conversation with the monster hunter. It's all, all very interesting stuff. Uh, what was I going to probably shoot? do? Sharpshooter for you. Because, yeah, with the advantage rolls from um, uh, being an assassin, that should balance out, I think. 
or mobile or alert would also be really good. Let's go with sharpshooter first and then alert, I think. Yeah, let's do that one. Okay, now we need potions. Uh, I don't want to use any more spell slots yet. Uh, I don't think we have any more short rests. No, we do not. That's fine. Let's see. Can I make any more healing potions? Yes, I can. I made one more greater healing potion. Lazel, how are you doing? Well be done. Okay, you... Let's do second wind. There we go. Can't give up now. And myself. There we go. Okay, we're good. Pave my path with corpses. Yeah, I'm Build trying. Castle with bones. Boo -hoo. Uh, I'm trying my best to always make choices in my stream. Uh, my stream playthroughs of this game that are roleplay choices that I think would best suit the character or make sense for dialogue options that the character would choose um, and trying to go for a different story this time even though like I know there's some things like I know if I pick that thing to say and then it will lead to that person saying that thing and then I can kind of predict what's going to happen next. But I like the unpredictability of this. I want to be surprised by this run. And it's already surprising me in really interesting ways. Okay. Let's maybe not try going through the front door. Can we go through the side door this time? That's blocked off. I want to try and pick maybe a better way of going in. What happens if we talk to you first, actually? Keep that beast away from us, you hear? Excuse me? me? the beast. Now that's fucking rich. He didn't close the door, though. Please. No more. Leave us in peace and we shall leave you in kind. Cut the crap, Anders. I know what you are. Don't let her hurt us. Please. We just want to go home. <laughs> you can drop the act. I know you're servants of Zariel. Zariel? Certainly not. We serve Tyr. Lord of Justice, and no other. Please, mercy. Half of us are badly injured, the other half dead. I admit, we ambushed you. An assignment from our gods, Tyr. We thought you a devil, and with your flames you proved us right. But Tyr will not consign us to our death. He is merciful. Leave us, and we'll leave you. <laughs> Enough of this charade. I know who you really are. Enough! Enough! I'll not play pretend anymore. Karlak, you're going home in pieces if needs must. And you, you'll soon learn what it means to ally yourself with the likes of this garbage. Avernus was never my home. It was my prison. I'm free now. And I'm never going back! Fuck yes. Okay, Starion. 
want you to take that position. Actually, let's dip those blades. Can I get to you? No, not yet. Let's uh, dip those hand crossbows then. This could be fire, baby. Okay. Rage first. Yes. Nice. I won't give in. And let's get heat metal on you as well. Please work. Yes. Weapon dropped. Anything else? Not at the moment. And let's spread out a little bit so I'm over here. Oh, we have another pick my voice uh, from Rick Stag Mimi. Please, I just rewatched those videos and I love that accent. Well, I have to say, you got marvelous taste, kitten. It's always a delight to be invited back. I hope that all of y'all have been having a wonderful evening this, so far. I most certainly am. <laughs> oh, I have to say, it's been mighty busy in Duskgate recently, but you know what? We're keeping things under control as best we can. Very nice. Oh, she's got a wild side, this one. It's admirable in many ways. Oh, you're not going to try to flee, are you? Can't have that. I wonder, can I get to you in time? Mom, there we go. Oh, nice try. It's not going to work out, though. This way. Get into position. Nothing will stand in my way. These boots have seen everything. You don't get in the way. Chased out all of them. <laughs> oh, kittens. It's almost as though you missed me. It is a delight to see you this evening. Thank you so much for the warm welcome. And good evening, Hades the, Ar the Arachne. I hope you're doing well. Let's see. See if you can help out our friends out here. Oh, you might be able to do it just in time. Covered. Come on. Oh, 
Oh, do you have any country songs that you like to sing from time to time, Mimi? Oh, there's a great many. Oh, I, I do appreci appreciate some Johnny Cash. Can't go wrong with the classics, after all. I wonder. <laughs> oh, that was just a laughful. I love this game. This is great. Ernie Ford. Oh, I don't. I'm not familiar with that name, but I might have heard him on the radio. It sounds like the kind of music that Jasper would more than likely enjoy listening to. Where are they? See if we can get you in as backup. You maniacal little shit. We can't be having that. No, no, no. And let's give you a little bit of something to lift your spirits. Well, it didn't, and you're welcome. Let's get you back a little bit, I think. There we go, that's more like it. Come on. Oh, you can't go wrong with Dolly Parton. Absolutely, I adore her. Alright, now that was a truly, truly terrifying fight. little friends want to pick up where the others left off. They'll find nothing but a pile of ash. Tear this place apart. Zariel's gotta stop fucking with me, you know? I'm done with it. I'm done with her. I'm free! I'm free! <laughs> Go ahead and tear this place up, darling. Just gonna stay out of your way. There we go. Just so you're a little bit out of the danger zone. But with that, Sally, I must depart. There are things to do over in Duskgate. Make sure that Jasper hasn't burned anything down. No one's causing any more chaos. But I hope you kittens have a wonderful evening. Thank you so much for inviting me back. <laughs> oh, it's always good to, to be Mimi. I love her voice so much. Mm -mm. That ought to do it. You okay? Whew. Had to let off a little steam after facing off with those ignots. Granted, the fire's lasting a little longer than it should. How do I look?
Like you should have melted a long time ago. How can you stand it? Honey, I could go all night. Hear that? Infernal engine for a heart. Let's me burn as hot as the hells. Seems to be running in overdrive since I left Avernus. Won't be seeing my mechanic anytime soon, so I'll just make the most of the extra heat. Just don't get too close till I've found a way to calm it down. What does the engine allow you to do? Burn, baby. As hot as I can tolerate. Makes me a beast in battle. I hardly remember what I was like before it. But it's a bit early in the game to be getting into tragic backstories. Let's save the scar show for later. After we've worked up an appetite for tragedy. Meanwhile, I'll need to find someone who can tune up my engine sooner rather than later. Believe me when I say this thing is hot. The first time I faced down those paladins, they let slip there was an infernal mechanic in the area. A tiefling. He might be able to stabilize things, if I can find him. Oh, thank you so much, Milk. I appreciate that. Um, uh, my dark urge, her name is Rosamond. She is going to be a monster. She is such a manipulator, but I, I adore her so much. There are some tieflings holed up in the druid's grove nearby. We might look there. Sounds like a good lead. Hopefully our guy will be among them. A tune-up would do this old tub a world of good. Hell yeah. Okay, let's loot the bodies. Nice, I'll take that fucking sword. Oh, I don't want the book. I want all the shiny things, please. Wish I had a bag of holding. Nothing useful in there. Open up. And where's that? Uh, the other one. There she is. I want her to turn me into an abstract art piece. <laughs> wow. Oh my god. God, you guys are so respectfully thirsty. Just see, that's what I love about you guys. Like, whenever you compliment a character in chat, or you're just like, God, I want them to like just rearrange me or something like that. It's always in weird and wonderful ways. Like, I want her to turn me into an abstract art piece. Like, you want her to fully, like, your remains will be a Jackson Pollock against the wall. <laughs> Come on. Up down here. Of death. Delight. I love you, Lazelle. You're gonna be you're gonna be my bestest buddy in this run, I can tell. Also, down here is probably like more food supplies, so yes, we're gonna take our time looking through this area. Lazel romance? No, we're doing Ascended Astarian this run. We did have we were invited to get closer to Lazelle. But, oh, I don't know. So, because you do have the option of early on being with more than one character and then breaking things off with them later and only choosing one, we could, hypothetically, romance Lazel and Astarian and then later go with Astarian when we get closer to the point of Ascension. Legend containing the details of a toll house's takings for the current year, 1, uh, 1492 DR. Most entries are neatly written, listing the travellers in the amount of gold paid, but the text on the most recent, recent page is smudged and rambling. Uh, four merchants, single wagon of sundries, flame fist company, 15 fists and gauntlet, 100 gold free, fee waived, fists don't pay tolls, they extort. 
Bruin two guards, seven farmers, no goods, no gold, wounded, warn us to leave. Send crow to request extra guard or relief. More farmers, too many to count, no goods, carrying their own dead. Roan untenable, repairing to abandoned post. Hey, got the keys. Okay, and Starion is going to do sweep for traps. Like, I think when we do um, my attempt at a hero, uh, uh, a hero run, I'll more than likely romance Karlak then. Because she, she deserves a hero. She deserves a badass by her side. Look around here a bit more One detail now that it's cleared. No traps, please. Oh, some ingots. I'm a little bit encumbered, but that's okay. Oh, nice amount of gold down here. Yes, please and thank you. Uh, but I might have to hand some of this to Karlak. Because so, I'm carrying a lot of armor. And other heavy things. Karlak. Actually, no, I hand this to Lazel. Yeah. There we go. What now? And then once we finish looting this place, then we'll go do a long rest. And we'll head back to the Emerald Enclave so we can get Karlak taken care of. It's fine, apparently. There. God, our perception sucks. Mm. Oh, I I haven't romanced uh, or played Dragon Age Inquisition in a while. Because I uh, did a um, a run of it, and of course I romanced Solus. Because I always end up romancing Solus, and I always end up hating myself for it. <laughs> that bastard. pointy eared bastard. Um, but I do really like the Cullen romance in the game as well. It's so good. And Cassandra is wonderful as well. And Josephine. I just love all of them. Come on. Look at the pouch. What's inside? Okay, let's split the party. Because one person sits here. Something's happening. But not enough something. And Lazel sits here. There we go. You stay out here, Astarian. Oop. Keep a blade close. Astarian. Girl, don't do it. It's not worth it, Steph. I did it. I. I always romance Solace and I always hate myself for it. Okay, let's use one of our inspiration points and try that again. There we go. At least things have stayed interesting. There we go. that great axe as well. 
Nice. Shinies. Yee. Take those. Okay, I know I read the exit of a, a pleasurable deal in my previous run, but let's read it again because it's great. This is an excerpt from the play A Pleasurable Deal, banned in no fewer than four cities for its lewd content. Its scandalous nature led to a number of widely distributed and illicit printings. Come here, fair folk, a tale now lost to time. In grief, this man well sunk in depth sublime. A gift he sought to win his lady's heart. Our Cambian smiled, for now the game did start. Enter Robert, male tiefling, crying, Carlisle stage right. Flash of smoke. Weep not, young man, though free your wife has fled. And comfort found in comrades' arms and bed. She licks her lips and cries his name, oh my! And now seek you to be the apple of her eye. How does a stranger know such things, I ask? I watch you from the shadows and I see your shame and grief and nature's malady. You seek to win your lady and her bed, to have your name upon her lips instead. You know my curse, my pain, my grief, my woe? Of you I know you seek a larger hoe, to plough, fair maid, and sow a seed to grow. But lack do ye a mighty horn and mast, with which to guide a maid to bed and fast. <laughs> and oh, okay, so I was um, on a TikTok the other day, and so someone posted an excerpt of an interview Neil Newborn did with, I don't know who was interviewing him, it was like a game website or a game magazine, and they were talking about inspirations for uh, Astarian's voice and some of his mannerisms and stuff like that. On my way. You're fine, Karlak. And when he pointed this out, I couldn't unhear it. So Astarian has a very distinct laugh. It's a little high, a little nasally. It's kind of like it's more of like um, it it's po it's quite a pointed laugh. It's like a. <laughs> Like they're kind of like almost like a giggle, but like with a, a breathiness to it that, <laughs> which is wonderful. And um, you'll never guess, or you might guess, but take a guess where he got inspired to do that laugh from. It's great. It's so great. It's one of my favorite movies that inspired that laugh, and I'm so happy. So, chat, are you familiar with a wonderful movie called Amadeus? about uh, a s dramatized feud between Mozart and another composer, Salieri, in it. And in the play, and I've seen the play several times, um, Mozart has a very annoying laugh. And it's exactly Astarian's laugh. He based Astarian's laugh off of Tom Hulse's performance in particular in the film adaptation of Amadeus, that... <laughs> And it's great. It's so great. And it makes me so happy. Because it's one of my favorite movies. I love it so much. And it makes me so happy that that's what he was inspired by for A Starian's Laugh. Alright, let's take a long rest. We've got... Oh yeah, we've got like over 700 supplies between all of us. We're fine. We're going to be fine. Okay, I would... Okay, I cannot recommend the movie... Am Amadeus enough. It is honestly a masterpiece. It is quite a long movie. It's over three hours. But if you also especially love classical music, not just Mozart, but good classical music, it really gives you a greater appreciation of the skill and that goes into being a composer and the passion and how heartbreaking it is. Because keep in mind, this is like a dramatized version of of Mozart's life, of Mozart's story. I'm not 100% sure if there was a, like, a feud between, or, like, if Salieri did want his downfall, but it's a very compelling story, and it's wonderfully executed in the movie. So, I highly recommend it. It's so good. Mmm. Oh, shit. There you are, Will. The blade of frontiers. 
Thought I'd shaken you for good after the Mind Flare ship. But you just can't get enough of me, can you? Karlak, Advocatus Diaboli, the stink of Avernus. Uh, I remember you from the goblin fight at the Grove. What do you want? The Devil's Head and yours. If you so much as... <laughs> A great fire roars through you. The fire of the first hell. You are the blade of frontiers racing through the wastes of Avernus. Just ahead, a diabolical figure, red skin, single curled horn, blazes with flame, bloodied great axe held high. He chases the fiend, ignited with rancor. She is an infernal war devil, a threat to the living, evil incarnate. Your allies are fraud, a soldier in the archdevil Zariel's army. Either I cut her down, or she burns the Sword Coast to ash. I've tried to tell you, I am not what you think I am. I... Uh... Another vision. Karlak's blade raised, slicing through devils, Zariel's servants, as her eyes dart around, seeking escape. The man shudders with Karlak's desperation. She is a victim of the Blood War. Not an agent of it. By Baldrin's helm, I... No. I will not be tricked. You saw the truth. I may be an effective soldier, but I never wanted to serve Zariel. Legged it away from her the first chance I got. And yet you served. Be practical. You're infected same as us. We need allies, not enemies. The man catches his breath and his lips straighten. Sheer dread twists his face. No! Devils cannot be trusted! God, you're stubborn. Karlak's not a devil and you know it. Would you listen to sense? This doesn't have to end badly for either of us. You know monsters, right? Better than anyone. Look into my eyes. Can't you see I'm not what you think? <sighs> Shit. You really are no devil, are you? I've... I've been deceived. <sighs> Thank the gods. Thought I was gonna have to take your head. You would have died in the attempt. But there have been enough threats today. Truce? I'll do you one better. Allies. Oh. We're looking to get rid of these parasites for good. And ruin some bastards' days while we're at it. Sounds like your kind of venture. I've not grown any tentacles yet, thank Baldron. But luck won't be on our side forever. Yes, you have my blade. Your leader willing, of course. Well, soldier, what's the word? Hmm. The more the merrier, as they say. Sorry, but there's no room for me. Hmm. Right you are. You should remain here for the time being. Well met, and a thousand sorries. I've pledged my life to protecting the meek from monsters. But tonight, I was the rampaging beast. I see the good in you, Karlak. I promise not to lose sight of it, even when the hells burn hottest. <laughs> the famous Blade of Frontiers in the flesh. Clever, this hero act you've got going. Hero, Blade... Name strangers gave me. My friends call me Will. Excellent. If we ever become friends, I'll know what to call you. Hey, okay. Sorry, just Karlak was so adorable in that little moment. I... My heart is so happy. I, I'm, I'm, I'm very happy. I'm very, very happy. 
Ah, <sighs> what's in your mind, Karlak? Glad Will saw sense. Even more glad he decided to stick around. Takes a pretty slick mover to track down old Karlak. Hmm. Rosamond's a bit suspicious. Like, no, she doesn't want to. Like, oh, this is me being too nice. Cause, okay, the one that's going to be the hardest for me to do is be mean or dismissive or not considerate of Karlak. Because Rosamond is supposed to be bad. She's supposed to be a very bad girl. So she's going to try and keep the peace with everyone for now before being a bitch to everyone else. I'm glad he's joined us too. Glad you two could make peace. Same. Now, instead of a liability, I've got a friend. Or I will have Sue, anyway. Well, is it? Welcome to the party. You've been witness to a pantomime, I'm sorry to say. And I've played my part all too poorly. What's that supposed to mean? Lay it out plainly, Will. It means that a reckoning's coming. And I'll be the one to pay up. One night soon when we make camp, the veil will be lifted, and I'll pay my penance. Hmm. Good then. I deserve answers. And you'll have them. But I can't promise you'll like them. Mm -mm. Fine. Okay, I'm curious if people remark about what has happened. I've known a few warlocks in my time. Talented, of course, though sometimes too eager to listen to the devils on their shoulders. <laughs> Comes with the territory, unfortunately. Are you all right, Gail? You look a bit unwell. We've been traveling together for a while now, and it's just about time that I shared something with you. It's a rather personal matter that I'd have preferred to keep quiet, but needs must when the devil drives. I have no choice but to speak. You see, I have this condition. Very different from the parasite we share, but just as deadly. What kind of condition? The specifics are rather personal, but suffice it to say that it is a malady I've learned to live with, though not without some effort. What it comes down to is this. Every so often, I need to get my hands on a powerful magical item and absorb the weave inside. What happens if you don't consume these artifacts? I'll spare you the finer details, but... It begins with a simple biological deterioration, muscle spasms, disorientation, a slight ringing in the ears, and, if left for too long, catastrophe. It's been days since I last consumed an artifact, since before we were abducted. It is time, and by that I mean it's imperative that I find and consume strands of weave at the earliest possible juncture. Where do you suggest we find the artifacts you need? We've already done the finding. In fact, you have one in your possession. You know for yourself how hard won such an item was, and it will be no easier when even more are required to assuage my hunger. There'll be danger involved, or great cost. I expected as much. Don't worry, I'm happy to help. Splendid. Bit of boldness will serve us well. As luck would have it, you're already primed to give me exactly what I need. 
fine. What have I got on me? Oh, actually, the sparkle hands. I was planning on selling those anyway, but do I have anything else? I kind of need the spider step boots. I was going to save that for when Minthara joins us. So I think the sparkle hands are probably the best one for now. Yeah, because I was going to be selling those. It better, that was expensive. It work. The magic, it's like a lullaby that sings to sleep the demon inside. A metaphorical demon, I haste to point out, but no less dangerous. And no less bound to wake up again to continue its ravages. Such is the nature of all monsters. Perhaps now you'll tell me what this is all in aid of? Grateful as I am, the course of our camaraderie is much better served by not taking that particular detour. Not just yet. Sincerely, though, I understand I ask a lot from you with few answers in return. But in time, all will be told. Don't mention it. I'm glad I could help. My lady, I bow to your boundless kindness. Hmm. She's a little bit perturbed by that, but she also knows that Gale is potentially very powerful and she wants to keep him on her side, so... Hmm. Uh, let's swap some party members around. Let's, uh, leave Karlak behind and take Will with us. For the next little jaunt. Gale slurped that thing up like a horse with a carrot. I hope he got what he needed from it. Hmm. I'd like you to join me. Sorry, but there's no room for me. Take Harlak's place. Ready and willing. Okay, I'll level up Will in just a second, but I want to talk to the him first. Frontiers at your calling. There we go. Okay, let's just go through the standard questions before going into the dirge-specific ones. What do you make of Raphael? He brings to mind a story. The devil with the silver tongue. An old fairy tale my father read to me. The kind with a hero, a villain, and a moral. A farmer made a deal with the devil, so the story goes. In exchange for the farmer's dearest fruit, the devil granted him a bottomless coin purse. The farmer's dearest fruit, naturally, was no apple nor peach, but his beloved daughter. We can learn a lot from fairy tales. Don't you think? With the right teacher, yes. What are your thoughts on the devil, Will? Refuse him. No matter how tempting the offer, no matter how delicious the feast he lays out for you, the cost will be too great. Mm. But you haven't heard him speak. In my defense, his voice is very attractive. <laughs> Don't worry, I have no interest in a devil's deal. That's because you still have hope. But when he becomes your last hope, remember this. He'll require of you only what you're least ready to part with. And then require more still. You might think you'd give up anything for a cure. But the devil won't take just anything. He'll take everything. I've noticed your stone eye. Did you lose it in battle? A most vicious one, in fact. It's made from pure bloodstone, carved from the Galena Mountains just north of the Moon Sea. A reminder that sometimes blood must be shed and sacrifices must be made. Ah, 
But that story is reserved for lifetime friends and karma days. Let's talk about something else. By all means. I've... I've got this bloodthirst. An urge to destroy. Maim. Kill. She's curious to see what someone as noble and heroic as Will thinks about this thought that she's thoughts that she's having. Anger. I understand. We've been preyed on by elithids, suffered insertion of a mind bending worm. Bloodthirst is another matter. But perhaps not too big of one, if it's a devil or demon's flesh you're wanting to tear. I've got no memory of my past. Could the parasite have done that? Seems unusual to me. Then again, we're talking about tadpoles inserted into our brains by rubber-skinned tentacle monsters. There's nothing usual about it. All the more reason to stick close. I think you'll agree. Cool. Okay, I'm curious what other people think about this new development. Gale is positively voracious. Well... Let him suck up all the magic he needs, as long as he doesn't snack on a Githyanki silver sword. You look so unusual. Githyanki are rare in these parts. I expect I am your first. I've never heard of your kind until my capture. I suppose I am as alien to you as you are to me. I know of your kind, but I do not often encounter them. That large, fleshy nose of yours looks like a mistake. Hmm. She just kind of like raises an eyebrow at that. Yes. Best to keep quiet, lest any drivel leak from your lips. No matter. I do not intend to stay long in this place. Do you know much about Mind Flayers? I understand much beyond your comprehension. More to the point, I know the cure for our condition. It is imperative we locate a crash. You do well to observe more and question less. Do you know what happens if we don't find a cure? Yes, in great detail. It starts with a fever and memory loss. Then you start to hallucinate. Your hair falls out, and you bleed from every orifice. Your bones will change form. Your jaw will split to allow room for four great tentacles. All skin will turn to gore, and be shed to reveal new flesh underneath. Then you have ceased to exist, and a mind flayer is born. That sounds awful. How are you so calm? Because I do not intend to let this happen. Not to me, and if you stick with me, not to you. We must find my kind and be rid of the parasite. It's as simple as that. The first symptoms should have long since started, though. That is what puzzles me. You're worried we haven't changed. This is good news. Yes. If you give it no further thought. But anomalies lead to surprises. Bad surprises. Besides, what hasn't happened may yet come to pass. Okay. Does Astarian have any thoughts on this new development? I've known people who are hungry for power, but Gale takes it a bit too literally for my liking. I wonder how he does it why he does it <laughs> i'm sure all will be revealed in time but i don't like it a waste of perfectly good treasure okay so now that like karlak is uh in that spot i feel kind of bad that there's now just like this massive circle of blood that's probably going to keep getting better as the game goes bigger and bigger and juicier and squishier. So, Gale just 
consumes magical items like I do wine. We truly are a group apart. Nevertheless, as quirks go, that's a new one for me. What's the story with that odd little artifact you have? There's no story. None that you're entitled to hear, anyway. Just forget you ever saw it. Okay, we're not that close yet. Fine. Okay. I won't pry. You're very private. Fine, fine, fine. Let me just quickly level up Will. Okay, now I want to be smart about this. No, Hex first, Eldritch Invocations, Agonizing Blast definitely. What was the other one? Not Armor of Shadows because we can get proper armor for you because you're a Warlock. Let's get Repelling Blast, I think. I think that was the other one that I usually pick. It was either one with Shadows or... Actually, no, it was Fiendish Vigor. Because um, that is also very useful because that is one at will. At will is a level one spell without expending a spell slot. Yes, and it's very good for early level stuff and just for that little bit of a buffer. So, yes, 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 yes. Although, Revelling Blast is actually very, very good as well. And especially, if, like, because with the range of Eldritch Blast, it helps with, like, knocking enemies off cliffs and stuff. So, let's go with Repelling Blast instead. Me. Smells. Mirror image. Pact boon. Pact of the blade. Blade of frontiers. For me makes sense. Cantrips. Uh, let's do Bone Chill because that's a close proximity spell. And. Misty Step is very good for getting you around the map quickly, so let's go with that. And what would go well with you? I think. Warcaster is probably a good fit as well because then you also get to use Shock and Grasp as a reaction and as a Warlock you do have a couple of concentration spells so that's probably the best pick. There we go. Alright, how are you doing Scratch? You was forgetting something. He's a good boy. No, oh, baby. Okay. And let's go to bed. Anything weird gonna happen? Okay. Everything's fine. Everything's good and great and fine. Astarian, have you had a chance to read that book at all? Well, hello. What can I do for you? Um, nothing in particular right now. Not quite yet. Let's get going though. Hang on. There we go. Uh, oh, actually, you need some potions. Let me just 
rework people's inventory just for a second. Actually, that great axe was going to go to Karlak. And I'll put that in the chest for now. I should actually give that guidance. No, I was going to give that to um, Mithara when we get her. I'll sort this out in just a second. Can I make any more potions? Any more healing potions? No, nope, that's fine. I want to at least get a couple of potions to Will. Okay, there we go. It's a little bit better. Lazel, have you ever done a good deed just for the sake of it? I have performed deeds well and efficiently. Is this what you mean? Meet mm, not exactly. But you answered my question. Now, let's be careful because I want to do that fight with the gnolls, but it can get a little tricky. Is there anything that needs to go to anyone else? Don't think so. want to quickly reorganize some things. Cantrips, spells. So I almost forgot to get Armor of Agathus going on Will. There we go, that's better. Summon a slightly nicer rapier. There we go. Silence is cold. There we go. And I want to see, can I repelling blast this guy? Yes! There we go. Okay. Starion. Find from up there. Nice. Oh, very nice. Where do I go from here? And that's me. And I'll throw a Bardic Inspiration to... To Lazel. Nice. And let's get a little bit higher ground so I'm out of the way. Path 
Go. I mean, it's nice when it's a nat 20, but only when it's for me that rolls it. Damn it. Oh, I wonder if I can thunder wave all those guys off the cliff at once. That could work. Oh, yes. Uh, carefully avoid Lazel. I might be able to knock these two guys back. Shame I can't get the others. That's okay. Nice. No one's taken any hits yet, that's okay. And let's send a Bardic Inspiration to Astarian. Cool. This is my time. Wonder. Nice, and let's get you on higher ground as well, Will. And maybe hex you for charisma saves. I am fury. I am death. I kind of want to polish these guys off first and then take care of you. Make Oops. way. Let's get you a little bit out of the way. Okay, Starion's not doing so great. I don't want you to 1v1 them. Yeah, I expected to enter into that one-to-one uh, -one conversation with the Null leader as well, but it doesn't seem to be triggering. I'm not sure why, but we seem to be doing okay so far. Oh, actually. Yeah, I'm fine to take that attack of opportunity because I might be able to get another Thunder Wave. That's fine. Yes. Might need to move a little closer so that I don't hit Lazelle. There we go. Okay, let me just double check that again. Just make sure I'm not targeting Lazelle. Yes! Oh. Okay. I'm good. I'm very, very good. And let's get you 
Over here. Sprint of superiority down of that. That's alright, I can do healing word and Asarian. Damn it. Okay, I thought they were carrying a metal flail. That's okay, I guess not. You got this, Astarian. Come on. And oh, it's not the best. Not really gonna work on you. Won't take me yet. So let's just start stabbing away. Um, actually, I'm gonna move you around here. Because then if Will can get a Eldritch Blast, you might be able to get knocked off the cliff, which would be very useful. Oh, I wonder if I move over a little bit more. Where would be the most opportune angle for you to go flying off, please and thank you. I wonder... Ooh. Finding my way. Maybe if you're a little bit closer to the edge. Okay, didn't work. That's okay. Fury. I am death. Not the best chance of that working. So let's just do a regular strike. Nice. Very good. And they're poisoned. Never a dull moment. Let's hmm. Try another vicious mockery, please. Damn it. They did not like that. Not one bit. But I did. Because it means I'm doing good. It's okay, Starion. I got you. It's okay. We're slowly getting there. I'm actually going to use my action search for Lazelle because she seems to be doing the most hits right now. Just to get a little bit more. Urgh. It's fine. I mean, it's not fine, but it's fine. I'm actually going to move over this way. Don't get an attack of opportunity. Heal Starion just a bit more with the cure wounds. Nice, and you're off balance. Yeah, it didn't trigger the dialogue with the Null Leader, which I'm uh, curious as to why, but I'm not going to argue with it. I'm just going to finish the fight because we seem to be doing okay. There we go. Nice. It's alright, you got this, Astarian. Come on. We're almost there. 
We should be able to finish them off this round. Please. There we go. Wow, I think that might be one of the first times we've ever actually oh, finished this gosh. fight and not what needed for sight. any kind I of manipulation. Still alive out there. No, it's a grim sight. This whole journey's been one grim sight after another. Knolls, goblins, drow. Resin Road's more dangerous than ever. You're the first friendly face we've seen since Eltergard. Eltergard's a long way from here. Where are you heading? We're bound for Baldur's Gate. Got some cargo to deliver. But we've a stop to make along the way. Where's that? Joaquin's Rest. It's just up the road. I'd be enjoying a mug of ale right now if those beasts hadn't jumped us. Listen, you look like you know how to handle yourself. You dare judge me. me. my associates. We've got our own drinking spot by the tavern. Invitation only. Tell the fellow on the door. Little serpent, long shadow. He'll take good care of you. Very well. What to do? I've been practicing Lazel's voice, trying to get the mannerisms and such. Let's have a look. Don't ask so much as to why. It's just a fun voice to do. I can imagine in the future many requests will come for this voice. Is a very nice sword, and I might take that for myself. Oh, I'm not proficient in martial weapons or scimitars. Fine. Give it to Will then, I think. You can make it into your packed weapon. Yes, and then it's fine for you. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Okay, let's do a quick short rest so that Astarian isn't dying. Yes, you're doing okay for now. Let's see, do I have... Yeah, I got a surplus of potions, so I'm going to give one of those to Astarian. And if we're about to go into another fight, then you can drink it then. Anything but. I don't fight to be flattered, Lazel. I fight to save lives. Dreaming red. That symbol in the blood. What does it mean? Not good things. Okay, I have a feeling if we came around this way or we saw the symbol, then it would trigger the conversation. Or the, the mental connection with the knoll. Um, but it didn't. And that's okay. What matters is that we won. That might be worth a look. Uh, so with the packed weapon thing. I think so long as it's something that Will can wield with his skill set. And it makes sense, like, I'm not sure if he would be able to, like, bind, say, a greatsword in the same way that you can, um, a rapier or a scimitar. But I think so long as, like, you're able to bind it as a packed weapon, then it's okay. I could be wrong, but it works, so I'm not going to argue. <laughs> Sarian? Could you unlock this, please? Let's 
Let's crack it open. Yay. Intestines throb and blood whispers. Very well. Oops. I need to get back up. How do I get back up again? Come on. Enough waiting. I crave blood. We all do, Lazel. There we are. One true way. Come on, everyone. No time to rest. Oh, enough waiting. I crave blood. Come on. Proceeding. Well then. Potion, always good. Oops. Okay, while we're all kind of together, let's just quick travel somewhere else, because that sometimes fixes it when you get people stuck in close proximity. There we go. Not this way. Yes, this way. Okay. Something good here, I hope. Anything useful down here? Let's just keep going up then. Go. So here, here in chat has already started um, uh, a dark urge playthrough of their own. Or are you? Uh, I'm curious. Are you watching my playthrough? to see kind of what it's like and what's one of the potential stories that you can experience because I'm really enjoying it so far. I like the little nuances uh, in the story, the little differences. Other than uh, what happened to Paul Alfira, we haven't really done anything too monstrous. I mean, there's the stuff with Arabella, of course, but you know, it's fine. It's fine. Just don't overthink it. Everything's fine. We're just gonna watch Rosamond become a horrible, horrible person. Smoke. Something's burning. Oh good, I'm glad I brought Will for this. Sleeping eyes. Grant me the might to carry this burden. Grant me the faith to face darkness without fear. My dirge is a white dragonborn with blue eyes named Seto Kaiba. That is that is some next level nerdum, and I'm so proud. <laughs> what the hell's happened here? A massacre. Drow and goblins slaughtered the lot. Please, just leave me be. Fine, fine. What's hiding? I hear shouting. Someone needs help. Excellent armor. Strange place to find it. Keep pushing! Duke Raven Guard could be inside. On count of three. One, two. Raven Guard? He's here. Yes. Now make yourself useful. Push, damn it. Push. You heard her, Will. Get in there. Inside. Hurry. We don't have much time. Hello. Can you hear me? We hear you. Stay where you are. We don't have much time. In here. 
try and get some water. Coming off that door. Opening it could spell trouble. Actually, Nazel's better better at this. There we go. Looking ahead. Come. I'm afraid Papa thanks must wait. Getting out of the building. We'll get to you in a second. Try not to die in the meantime. I'm terrible. All right. What now? Busy times. Maybe later. Yeah, let's have a conversation in the burning building. I didn't mean to click you. Sorry. Councillor Floric, are you all right? Well. By the living gods! I couldn't have asked for a finer saviour. Scorched throat. A few hairs singed off. Nothing a bit of time and, and fresh air can't cure. Gauntlet, a new duty calls. Drow have taken Grand Duke Alder Ravenguard westward, if my eyes and ears can be believed. Report to the Manip and send for reinforcements. We must find the Duke. On your command, Councillor. No, it can't be. You mean they've taken my... Yes, Will. The drow have your father. Will, you are the son of nobility? Not gonna lie, her ears perk, perk up when she hears that and she tilts her head. A bit more interest than before. The circumstance of my birth is no matter of pride for neither me nor my father. But pride is no reason to refuse help to my own flesh and blood. How can we help? Rescue Ravenguard from his drow captors. Baldur's Gate needs him now more than ever. Trust us to see it through, Counselor. Okay, even though it's it says Baldurian. We're playing Dark Urge. We shouldn't remember anything. Interesting. Who is Duke Ravenguard? The invisible force holding Baldur's Gate together. Without him, the city's collapse is certain. I fear that may have been the intention of those who abducted him. Why entrust this to me? You have others at your command. Isn't it clear? You travel with the Blade of Frontiers. Who might I trust if not a legend? Who might rise to the moment if not Raven Guard's own son? Hmm. I'll rescue you, Raven Guard. You have my word. Thank you. When the Grand Duke returns to the city, he'll hail his only son, a hero. Go. You should pick up the drow trail with ease. I will seek reinforcements and join you when I can. Remember, Will, courage is found in the battle against fear, not in the defeat of it. So father said. I won't soon forget. Fist to work. Okay, sparky points, the jolt shooter or the spell sparkler. Hmm. We'll get to you in a second. I'm in here. I might get the spell sparkler and then give that to Gale, I think. Oh, actually, no. I'll get the Jolt Shooter and give that to Lazel, I think. This is a very cool looking bow. Like will be done. And you can make great use of it. Because you are a fighter, so you are like practically proficient with like all weapons. So yes, you can wield longbows. Perfect. Still breathing, despite everything. Shit. You can put distance between you and yesterday, but you'll never leave it fully behind. Father's words. Hard to argue with them. Floric spoke true. I'm a Grand Duke's son. Uh, not just a Grand Duke. Craven God has more power and influence than anyone. Uh, 
Aren't you worried? Your father's been abducted. More than worried in truth. What makes a Duke of Baldur's Gate so interesting to the drow? Even the houses of Menzo Baranzin would have little use for my father. No, this is no drow plot. These absolute nutters, these true souls are behind his abduction. His absence alone will sow chaos in the city. If they were to infect him, he could lead Baldur's Gate to ruin. All the more reason to find him. The Absolute has seized not just my father, but the future of the Sword Coast. You shouldn't be. You shouldn't keep secrets like this from me, Will. I know, and you're right. When I look into a mirror, I see two faces. I see the Blade of Frontiers, a man hunting the fiends who prey on the weak and claw at the coast, and I see Will Ravenguard. A memory of a memory. A man who belongs to the past. I wanted you to know the blade, not the shadow he left behind. Okay, let's just keep looting everything. Uh, let's see if we can save that guy that's suffocating up there, I guess. Okay, so when um, Will was saying like, oh, if these like absolute people like take over everything, there'll be the end of the Sword Coast, like, sh she's thinking like, they really are that powerful, aren't they? Hmm. That's curious, just putting that uh, in the back of her mind. Just food for thought for later. Okay, I'll try and use some inspiration to try again. There we go. I think that's it. She wants to be a little bit of a hero in front of Will because he is, now that she knows he's powerful and influential, she definitely wants him on her side as much as possible. Thank you. Okay. Room's going up in flames. Oh no, how terrible. Mary. No. Gods, no, no, no. You should have stayed. You should have been with me. How did you two get separated? I was in our room. We had a fight. If I just kept my mouth shut about that bloody dowry, she'd still she'd still be here. What was this about a dowry? It's for a sister's wedding. I made a stupid joke about keeping it. We argued about it for hours. Then she took the dowry and left. She said I'd never see her again. She was right. Count your blessings. At least you're still alive. How is this a blessing? You should have let me burn. Well, it's not too late. Wait, let's go find uh, the dowry. Because I, I did look when I was doing another playthrough where the hell's this dowry actually is and I know where it is now. I 
Uh, Andy, are there any ninjas in this game? No, but you can make a monk. You can play as a monk if you want. Uh, that's one of the classes that you can play as. And they kind of like ninjas a little bit. In that they mostly rely on their bodies um, and their own unique skill sets. It's like somewhere around here, I think. Or in the barn. Open up. I think it's actually in the barn. Let me just check. Multiclass with Rogue, and that's kind of close. I agree. I think if you multiclassed with, um... Uh... Between Monks... Monk and... Uh... Rogue, then... You should get something maybe close. There we go. There we go. Just some coins and uh, a ring, but it's still very useful. Here goes nothing. This is the spot Ruger marked. Doesn't look like much. Let's maybe go uh, speak with the Xanthorim and maybe uh, sell some stuff as well. You spot a man crouching between the shelves, just as he spots you. A uh, little serpent long shadow. Oh, I thought you were flaming fist. I'm so much worse. They'll be on us soon, so if you're looking to trade, you'd best be quick. Entrance is hidden behind the wardrobe. Here's the key. Oh, why thank you. Let me just check something. Fire wine barrel, oil barrel. Lazel, can you? Oh no, it's gonna encumber you. Damn it! Steam's throb, blood whispers. Time to press ahead. Do do. I am so much worse. I'm gonna be the scariest thing in this game. Do, do, do. I'm going to be the fire that burns down the world. I will be the sanguine singer that sets the world aflame and makes it bow to my madness. What's in here? And everything will be fine. See, that is the correct response, saying yes, yes please, and that's hot. Thank you. Go. More supplies that apparently they don't seem to mind me helping myself to. Which is nice. Just gonna keep taking these because, uh... We need a lot of food supplies in this run. That's far enough. What's your business down here? Answer honestly and maybe we'll kill you clean. Well done. That's the lass who saved us from the knolls. Let her in. You revealed our location. That tongue gets any looser, Rugen. I'll cut it out. Oh no. Come down then. Seems you're a friend of the family. Apparently so. Ye. I want to buy stuff from you. I have stuff to sell. Watch yourself. I spy a trap. Hope you won't fall over me. Mm-hmm. Okay, so we didn't actually finish the artist's quest. 
uh, in Silesia's run, and I'm kind of curious about what, like, how that goes. for saving my people. The Zentarim look out for their own. Even if it's Rugen. That's worth some coin. And my thanks. Why, thank you. Our trader can show you some of our more exotic items now. But don't delay. This place is likely to be rubble soon. Rubble? What are you planning to do? Someone kidnapped a duke. Right on our bloody doorstep. The Flaming Fist will need someone to blame. I don't plan on it being us. Fair point. Ooh. Nice. I think I'll take that if I can wield that. No, I can't wield martial weapons or heavy crossbows. Hmm, <laughs> Harold. Uh, let's give that to Karlak, actually, because she can wield heavy crossbows, I believe. And the drow leather armor, of course, goes to Astarian. I should get some black dye or something and make that a little nicer for you. Yes, there we go. These things have stayed interesting. Now, uh, let me just grab all the things that I want to sell. Give you, make you hold on to one more of the long swords, but Sword of Justice. That is a two handed sword. That would actually be very nice for you. I'm still going to ask you to hold on to the Steel Forge sword for now. And let me just actually grab some of those potions and give some to Will because he doesn't have a ton of potions either. Nothing hurts. Okay, there we go. Now, who is it that sells stuff down here? Is it you? Good to see you. Killed any more beasts out there? Okay, it's not you. I think it's you down here, actually. My mistake. Oh, come on. I'm heavily encumbered. I can't climb. Fine. Let me just give some of this stuff back to Lazel. There we go. That's a little bit better. I need more swords, okay? You seem a nice soul. I'm glad we didn't have to kill you. Oh, why, thank you. Okay, so I think it might actually be one of you two down here. Go. Oh no, wait, that's all the stuff that I want to sell. Where's the stuff that Lazel is holding for me? There we go. That's better. No time to rest. And now my pockets are very full. Gods. You don't want to keep Zaris waiting. Believe me. Where's the person that sells me stuff? Well, don't you cut a fine figure? Want your portrait done? If you have the gold, my pet artist will make you a most heroical likeness. Mm, you have a pet artist? Let's say we're his patrons, yeah? Found him wandering the wilds alone. He needs protection. And if his paintings cover our costs, so much the better, eh? Do you have anything else to trade? Of course. Got some interesting stock for a friend of the family. Why, thank you. Now I can finally sell some of this stuff. Uh, do, do, do. One of these shovels is enough. Ah, so many swords. Hold on to that pendant though. Bottle, goblet. 
No, wait, sorry, I accidentally clicked on Infernal Iron. I do not want to sell that. Uh, what's the other thing? I think I actually sold a grease bottle, so let's no to that. Here we go, that's a bit better. Is there anything else that's still weighing me down significantly? I don't think so. Um, it's, everything's fine. Star in his pockets. Okay, what do you have that's especially useful? Okay, another dagger for a star, and that could be very good. Yes, let's do that. So then, Starion's got two plus one daggers. Giant breaker, chainmail. I can't wear anything heavier, can I? Scale mail, jolty vest, gloves of hail of thorns. That could be useful. Oh, no, the Gloves of Thievery. I remember I wore these last time, and they are so useful for Astarian, so I'm going to give those to Astarian. Hmm. And I want to get the Black and Furnace Red dye. Let's get some bottles of that so I can dye Astarian's clothes. So we can match. Okay. There we go, that's a bit better. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, that's better. Pleasure. Now, let me just organize a couple of things. What to do? There's very nice gloves and a very nice dagger. Um, okay. Oh, the toxin as well. Okay, I am curious about the artist, though. You. Zaris may have welcomed you, but I can see you're not one of her thugs. You need to buy me. Mm, maybe. But you don't look very expensive. Not to you, perhaps. But those of actual taste might disagree. For the return of her prize artist, my patron will measure her gratitude in gold. Tenfold whatever ransom these clots try to squeeze from you, I guarantee it. Who is your patron? As far as you're concerned, she may as well be the coin maiden herself. But there will be time for questions later. Please, speak to Brem. I need to see the sun again. Fine. Something I can help you with? I'm here to buy your prisoner. I doubt you've got that kind of dosh line about. Hmm. Mm, I want to intimidate. I don't have that much gold. I have plenty of steel, though. Come on. Yes, not 20! All right, mate, all right. Wackeen's clip coins. There's no need to get RC. <sighs> Go on, then. But anything lower would be criminal. Fine. He's all yours. Don't forget to feed him. He balls something proper. I can't say I've ever been bought before. How much did I fetch? No. Cheap. Don't tell me. There's nothing so depressing as learning one's true value. Well, you should at least know what you've paid for. I am the Oscar Fevras, at your service. And I am the Rosamond, at yours. A genuine pleasure. I'm in your debt, as is my patron. <clears throat> my betrothed, I should say. 
Assuming Lady Janeth still wishes to marry me after our little, um, falling out. You recall a recent scandal. A patriarch of Baldur's Gate who wished to marry a commoner. Ah, oh, patrons dallying with their dashing artisans. A tale as old as art itself. Your actions have drawn the ire of someone nearby. A fight is inevitable. What? What? I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything. Was this because I cast friends? Okay. Yeah, that's because I cast friends. I'm gonna reload that. Give that another try. Okay, so yeah, that is um a thing that happens in high difficulty runs of this game. If you cast friends on someone that is potentially hostile, when they come out of it, it's like they snap to their senses and knows and know that they were messed with. So you can only really get away with it at certain points. Oh god, I've gotta do all that again. Okay, let me just try and load the other save, because I think I saved it again after I did shopping. So I don't want to have to bother organizing that again. Damn it. It's fine. It's fine. Nye. Okay, yes. Yes, okay, there we go. I hope the fish mm -hmm. trace the storm. Just want to check. Yes. Okay. Never a dull moment. <sighs> that wasted nat 20. It's fine. Something I can help you with. I'm here to buy your prisoner. I doubt you've got that kind of dosh line about. Let's try persuasion instead. You're insane if you think I'm going to pay that much. Not going to cast friends this time. Oh, that's just mean. Burr. Hey, that's more like it. All right. So maybe I was fishing. No fooling you. Fine. He's all yours. Don't forget to feed him. He balls something proper. I have something to ask. I can't say I've ever been bought before. How much did I fetch? No, don't tell me. There's nothing so depressing as learning one's true value. Well, you should at least know what you've paid for. I am the Oscar Fevras, at your service. Okay, I'm going to still go with, like, I'm the Rosamond at yours, but... Oh, if I was doing complete, like, genocide run, so to speak, my slaves do not speak until they are spoken to. Whack! <laughs> A genuine pleasure. I'm in your debt. And I, nautical men, it sounds like going. My betrothed, I should say. Assuming Lady Janeth still wishes to marry me after our little, um, falling out. You recall a recent scandal. A patriarch of Baldur's Gate who wished to marry a commoner. Ah, patrons dallying with their dashing artisans. A tale as old as art itself. Quite. <laughs> it seems we are destined to doomed romances, are we not? She offered me a future. And so, in a fit of madness, I told her of my past. Of the woman I loved before she found me. Love still, in truth. She was less than pleased. I made a timely retreat into the countryside to paint and clear my head. To choose, I suppose. I must know how this tragic tale ends. What option did you choose? Oh, absolutely none. Uh, fame and wealth suit me very well, no doubt. And yet, I think of that first love, and I hesitate. <laughs> Likely I'm going mad. Regardless, 
We have more immediate concerns. Your reward once I've returned to the city, for one. Say, you... Uh, I don't suppose you could spare some coin, could you? Ease the discomforts of the road some. I'll give you some serious discomfort if to deal with if you don't get going. Now. Right you are. Just asking for a little help, was all. Until Baldur's Gate, then. Get the fuck out of my sight, you smug piece of shit! Uh, okay, fine. I see you, chat. Do you guys really are that level where if I just fully went, speak when spoken to, whack, and just like backhanded you, you would say yes please more. I'm not judging you in any, in any way, shape or form because that is some people's thing. I kind of just didn't expect you guys to admit it so openly for all to see. That's all. Never wanted the easy path. Are we unpacking? Okay, let's get out of here. Oh, I see that. I see you guys just tiptoeing around it like, well, I, I kind of meant it a little bit, a, a little bit like that, asking nicely. See, at least you're able to admit it to yourself and indulge in your true pleasures that you enjoy. Better not be cursed. Okay, let's get out. Wow, another goddamn pole. Okay. <laughs> let's get out of here. And I'm thinking, should we... Maybe have the conversation with uh, the Githyanki at the bridge. Because we have Lazel with us anyway. Let's get out of here. Because then we can kind of finish and up and clear this whole area. And then do a long rest. Let's keep going. Fine. Great God Helm. Allow us peace in this plane and beyond. Teach us care when we would be reckless. Teach us certainty when we would have doubt. So it is spoken. We go. Okay, at least we've got the um uh, the waypoint and I've saved. Let's just give this conversation a go and see how it goes. A dragon rider, my kin are near. It's huge. Go a lifetime without seeing one, and then they won't stop pestering you. <laughs> I tangled with a dragon once, never forgot. Okay, let's have a little chat with the tiefling that's up here. One second. What are you doing? Hold up before they see you, Margresham. What's the matter? What? Apart from the dragon? Look. That lot are swarming all over the bridge. I don't know what they want, but it can't be good. I'm going to find another way around. You ought to do the same. I doubt a fight against them would go your way. Who are you? Nobody. Just another harassing fool trying to stay alive. There's plenty of us around. Alright, let's let you go. That's it. I'm getting out of here. And head on down to speak with the, with the Yankee. And I hope this goes well. This is one of those conversations that has to go well. Um 
Because if it doesn't, it leads to a very... Like, it, it, it's an impossible fight. It's against a red dragon. Drop your weapons! I'll feed your innards to the ants before I do that, Istik. This is your last chance! No, look up. That was your last chance, Istik. Now burn! I know they're terrifying, but damn, the red dragons are so cool. Stop wasting time, Beretta. You're not here to play with the locals. Of course, Kithrak. We merely sought to. No excuses. Question, kill, then move on. Find the weapon. Our queen watches us. Fail her at your peril. A red dragon. I envy its knight. Would that I rode such a steed. A crash must be near. Come, my kin await. The dragon incinerated those soldiers. Surely this isn't safe. The dragons serve Githyanki. I'll see it does you no harm. Follow me. We are close to the cure we seek. Okay. Kithrak, we must speak. Okay. Quick save. Ryder, my time is short. Lead me to. Shh, shh, shh. Such a familiar tone. Were I not merciful, I would slice the skin clean from your meat. Yet you are not bleeding. For I am nothing, if not merciful. Your name, child. I'm going to let her take charge of this, because I'm eyeing that red dragon beside us. Lazel. Lazel. Proud. Regal, even. You will call me Jestil Kithrak. Vos, Knight Supreme. The Queen Silver. Queen's sword. I am who you say. A geek vessel has fallen from the sky, Lazel. Thieves aboard have taken a weapon most precious. It is polyhedric in shape and inscribed with the sacred runes of our people. You suddenly feel a strange anxiety take hold. Not your own, but that of the artifact you carry. Somehow, it's afraid you would tune your mind to it. The artifact does not want to part from you. It does not want to fall into the Gith Raiders' hands. Take word to your crash. You are to join our search. Speak up, child. Affirm your mandate. Also, I see that the poll won. When the winner of the poll, uh, and the, and the winner of the what we poll is Yi with 86% of the poll and Sam Wood with 14%. <laughs> Oh, you guys are amazing. Okay, I'm very good at persuasion, so play along. I'm not going to cast friends, because this is a very tense situation. Hey, nat 20! You honor me with this duty, Kithrak. I shall alert my caretaker with haste. The Kithrak nods, content with Lazel's answer. You serve your queen well, child. Take your slaves and hunt those who escaped the Geich ship. They must carry the weapon. I fly now to Vlakith, our undying queen. She will see your faith rewarded in this plane and ours. To Danos! To the sky! Bye, guys. Thank you for not eating me. That could have gone a lot worse. You did well to intervene. Vexed as I am to admit it. The Gestil Kithrak would have flayed our skin and left our carcasses to burn in the sun. All for the sake of the artifact that we carry. The crash is near, this much we know. We follow the path forward and into the valley. No one, 
Not even the ignoble Gestil Kithrak will keep me from my purification. Yes. Oh, we did good. Because, yeah, that's one of those conversations that it's so easy to go wrong just by having bad luck. I wouldn't be surprised if there's several honor runs uh, that have um, been lost at this particular point. This junction in the story, so to speak. Okay, don't want to go that way. Uh, yellow dragons. I don't believe there's yellow dragons. Um, there's gold dragons. There's the metallics and the chromatics. The chromatics in D&D come in red, blue, green, white, and black. Um... Yellow dragons, I think unless there's... I'm sure there's maybe yellow or even purple dragons in uh, supplements and stuff like that. But the main core ones are the chromatics. Green dragons are very cool though. Okay. Yes, let us... Hmm... Oh. No, I'm not going to return the ring. I'm selfish. This is my evil run. Let me be evil. Okay. Let's get to uh, fast travel to a point where we will travel forwards. Let's go to the Blighted Village and then... These frontiers delight me as much as any bustling street. Land. I haven't even had a bath since the abduction. I must reek of a lithid slime. <sighs> sure, but think of the stories you'll be able to tell. All right, with that, let's take another long rest and then we can set off towards um, the blighted village in the next stream. So let's do a long rest, just in case something happens. Oh, thanks for the stretch check. Oh. Yep, I knew it. This this was coming. Hellsfire. She's coming. Hey. And you know what happens when you're naughty. God damn it. Anyone but her. Just uh, who in the nine hells are you? Well, you absolute stinker. You kept me a secret. Hmm. Time to let the Hellcat out of the bag. Call me Mazora. I'm Will's patron, the fount of his power. My pet's been unruly, and his leash needs a yank. We had a deal, Will. But Karlak's still breathing. I've taken more pleasant shits than you, Mizora, and at least those can be buried after. That's no kind of talk for a lady. By the way, Karlak, Zoriel sends her regards. You told me! Devils only! She's a tiefling, not a monster! How precious. The little pupster's found his bark. Clause G, Section 9. Target shall be limited to the infernal, the demonic, the heartless, and the soulless. Karlak meets the criteria by virtue of having no heart. You better not lay a damned finger on Karlak. Don't you worry. That ship has long sailed the sticks. 
But a defiant pup must still pay his price. To wit. Oil burns in the fires of Avernus. The lightning storms of Dis strike his flesh. His soul passes through each layer of the hells, gaining their essence and their torment. have you done the promise broken a price paid you know the terms get used to the new form pet there's no going back some magic even i can't undo now let's see how the frontiers fare without their precious blade karlak keep an eye on him would you i'll be keeping mine on you. Oh, and Will, don't forget, our pact still stands. Ta ta. So, uh, when that happened, Rosamond, while she's like taken aback by all the stuff that's unfolding, she cannot help but have a point of admiration for Mazora and just like the sheer flex of her power just oh that little moment sends off something in her brain that sparks her interest very much so I'll be honest soldier I'm reeling Will hardly knows me but he chose my life over his <sighs> been a long time since someone stuck their neck out for me like that Hmm. He's a good man. Maybe the best of us. You can say that again. When he was chasing me through Avernus, I thought he was just another sad merc. How wrong I was. Well, how are you holding up? Gods damn her straight back to the hells. Just look at me. I did what was right. And Mazora made me pay for it. I'd be hunting devils and demons, she said. Traitors and hypocrites, heartless evils of all sorts, but not... Not Zariel's victims. Not innocent tieflings. Warlock pets tend to be unforgiving from what you know of them. Will was lucky he didn't face a more severe punishment. The Blade of Frontiers has some explaining to do. I'll say what I can, but it won't be enough. It's Mizora who grants me the power to conjure armor and cast Eldritch Blasts. Before I was infected, I could even call Hell Beasts and summon festering clouds. But I promise you, every thrust of my blade and every flame I sparked was for the good of the coast. Let me guess, this pact is what caused the rift between you and your father? It's not unrelated. I wish I could tell you more. I can't utter the terms or circumstances of the pact. I can tell you most all else, but the pact, I'm forbidden, unless Mazora permits it. But I'll say this, the moment I pacted myself to Mazora, I have not regretted for a heartbeat. It was my proudest deed. It was worth the sacrifice. All I can give you on that is my solemn word. Okay, fine, 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 fine. Yeah, Rosamond is uh, kind of struck a little bit by uh, just how powerful Mazora holds herself and with such grace and confidence. And even uh, that point of admiration and just how easily she's able to swoop in and screw things up for everyone just so quickly. Just, hmm. Interesting. So, Will did the right thing and it earned him a set of horns. 
Let that be a lesson to us all. Okay, what does everyone else say about this? The blade of frontiers in the guise of a devil. I'd remark on the irony, but I'd hate to waste the breath. Still, it took guts to defy that petty patron of his. The blade's sting is real. Mm hmm. Help feeling Will got off lightly. The wrath of the hells is second only to the wrath of the heavens. Having a devil in our camp will certainly make things interesting. Never a dull day, is there? Mm-mm. Oh, this merry band of adventurers. It's not going to end well for any of them, I can just tell. Something the matter. Nothing to say about Will? Okay. Let's do a long rest. In okay, case so anything else happens. And then when it gets to the morning, I'll save and then I think we'll call it a night. And with that, let us wrap things up. Oh, this is curious because things aren't falling into place with my previous playthrough that I kind of expected to happen. So I'm both curious and excited. Like, we still haven't had that scene with the Starian professing that he's a vampire or finding out that he's a vampire. So I'm curious how long it goes before he says that and what different things he says um without that just being like an open secret in the party so i'm very curious to see what happens next we're gonna get to um the goblin camp next time and it might be also when we're able to try to um recruit minthara when it comes to that, I might have to just look up online the specific steps of how to do that without fully, like, joining the absolute, you know, killing all the tieflings and taking over the druid circle and everything like that. So, let's wrap things up tonight. This was a very long stream and a very, very good stream. We got a lot of stuff done. We got some important conversations uh, done out of the way. Honestly... Uh, that whole section with like everything between or after taking care of the paladins, taking care of the gnolls and doing the Zentarim and the burning manor and stuff like that. For me, that's all kind of like more, I won't say tedious, but it's like it's not like important plot related stuff, but it's more like little sprinkles of stuff that will add up to bigger things later on. Um, so I'm excited to get to the goblin camp and do that and see what happens then. So, yes. Yes, yes, yes. I'm very excited. But thank you all so very much for joining me tonight, my lovelies. And once again, happy International Women's Day. Um, let your love of women with swords consume you. Fill your heart with joy. And don't go making deals with succubi, even though they are so pretty. So pretty. And so lovely. And have such a wonderful way with words. So let us wrap things up for the night if you've been lurking in the shadows and you like what you've seen so far please consider following we would love to have you back at the blue rose respite you're welcome anytime be sure to check out my other socials that are popping up in the chat right now including my two youtube channels one for my asmr tales and one for my twitch vods i have a new one coming out tomorrow night that i am very excited about and i really really hope you guys like it it's something a little bit different but I really hope that you guys like it nonetheless. And be sure to check out my Twitter, my Insta, and my TikTok. Um, you've probably seen I've been posting pretty much every day uh, a new reel, something new on my TikTok. So I do really, really appreciate if you guys would um, check those out, give them some love as well. I know it's not my usual stuff, and I do apologize if they get spammy at all, but I try to just post something new each day just to keep things moving forward, just to kind of 
keep that interest coming in, more followers, more like eyes on my channel, just trying to grow myself as much as possible. So any love and support you can give to those is hugely appreciated. But let's see who's currently streaming and we'll say hello. Hey, you know what? Tiffany Witcher is still doing, I think, their uh, fundraising stream. So let's go say hi to the amazing, or as always, Tiffany Witcher. And thank you so much for joining me tonight, my lovelies. I will see you on Sunday. Uh, we'll be continuing the uh, little goody two-shoes. I'm very excited again uh, to see what happens next in that story because it's getting really spooky and really exciting. So I'm very excited about that. And of course, uh, next Wednesday for uh, probably just more League of, League of Legends. And thank you so much for joining me tonight. So I will see you on Sunday for uh, my spooky Sunday stream. Be sure to check out my new AI smr tale tomorrow night and remember take care of yourselves take care of each other and as always stay wicked and wonderful good night my lovelies